How much who's, do, who's, who's doing the bonus? Robin. Robin. So she says. Oh. She's not here yet. <laughs> Robin's not coming. What? She's How dare she? Her. She's not doing a category, is she? She wasn't. She's doing bonus. She told she me last week, I got a bonus for you. Oh, God. I didn't remember that, or I would have nagged her. She's going to some uh, house musical music house party for, with with accordion music. Oh, I know that. Lord, at the front. Well, if you oh, want a genius. bonus, if you want a bonus, bonuses, and I have one. You I have, have one. Okay, one you already got written. It. Well, but but the problem is, it has to be somebody on the team that's oh um, that she's room in. five. Yeah, and right. So it would have to be uh, somebody from team five. Terry Romero is Faith there too. I have one. Or you Terry's got one. Okay, Terry, you take oh, it. That way it'll be. All right. Thank you, Terry. Hey, You're welcome. Is Romero hey, faithless are today? Being, are we being recorded? Yes. I yes, think we are. we are. Aren't we? <laughs> we are. Faith went to uh, we theme park to Dollywood. She did? Uh, yeah. And you it left you by yourself. You didn't want to go to Dollywood? No. <laughs> <laughs> He's faithless. No Dollywood for him. Dollywood, jeez. Oh. oh man. Well, fine. Fine. And actually, Romero, I can't blame you. I wouldn't want to go there either. But. I would give her a big kiss. Are you kidding me? She put millions of her own dollars into the development of the vaccine that I took, Moderna. Rob, would you lick her face? <laughs> <laughs> Let's not go there. She was on the show, The Orville. The Orville, yeah, yeah she was on that. Yeah. Well. You know, I don't know if I'd want to go in this weather that you're having over there in North Carolina, but um, you might be used I mean, to it. I don't know. It's a lot hotter than when you were here and, and more humid. So. Uh, but you guys are kind of like okay with that, I guess. Yeah. It's not normal for me. I don't like that kind of stuff. Okay, so I've got to put Jane on a team and Kevin's already on the team, right? And Deborah's. I'm on team right. three. I don't know what I, my name is, though. Okay, I'm going to put. Nobody um, knows her name. I'm going to put. They'll they'll be losing me uh, after the second round. Well, so you say, and then you end up staying. Well, no. Uh, and and I only Lisa, had four hours sleep last Lisa, night. Lisa, same thing. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, oh yeah. So I better put you guys on that team because Terry, uh, I mean Lee and um, Vincent are both on that same team. So I'm going to put Jane. Um, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. One, two, three, four. One. We only have three. One, two, three, four. Janine, you have Wendy, Kevin, Janine, and Cindy. We don't have Kevin. Yeah, you yeah, do. We he do. just I is just having computer here. problems. Oh, yay. Okay. You have four. We'll take him. Okay, I'll put Deborah. Oh, <laughs> you're in trouble, Kevin. What's our team it's, name? It's the rest of the way. You'll find out. <laughs> it's We Hate Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Down, down with this sort of thing. I'm gonna put Deborah, I'm gonna put Deborah on team one and I'm gonna put Jane on team five. So I don't know what they're called yet, but that's so you guys know who you are, and then I'll fool around with it later if I have to. Okay. I'm excited to hear what do you guys come up with team names for me? Me too. Okay, so team one is Gail, Jamie, Larry, Rob, and Deborah. Uh, monkey pox immune. <laughs> Explain it. Well, it was just us old farts, so uh, we all would have had the smallpox vaccine, and hey, that's hey. supposed to make it immune for. Uh, yeah, uh, I've heard that. Monkey pox. Yeah. And I heard mm -hmm. that that was what was going on. So yeah, Gail looked it up, and, and there was a lot of maybes and ifs, and I don't know. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I don't really, they don't really know. For sure. I'm not going to lick it. Yeah. But, but when did they stop doing them? In the sixties? The no, 60s. it was like seventy. It was like seventy-one or seventy-two. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I was one of prior the last to seventy-two. I got it. I went I to got a scar on my arm. I went to mm -hmm. Australia in seventy-five, and it was required. Where? To Australia. Australia. Oh. The smallpox yeah. vaccination was required even if you had one as a child. Oh, they you may got get a, another. You got a vaccination there. Is it down under or is it? In <laughs> 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 
TMI. TMI. Show us, Jane. Show us your down under. Okay. The next one is Ken, Karen, Eric, Peggy, and Ron. Um, did somebody write down my aunt? Oh, my yeah, name? I got it. Um, we had a team name, but someone erased the tape. <laughs> you deleted the text, right? That's good. Okay, Cindy, Janine, Kevin, and Wendy. It is may your enemies have Alex Jones lawyer. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> A good team name, huh? I saw um, the CFI lawyer. Um, Nick Little. Nick Little post yesterday. He says, he says, I'm updating my resume that I will never ever do that in the in the entire phone contents of, of, my, <laughs> of my client to the opposing team. Okay. Uh, Alan, Bob, Caspian, Carl. Hello, Caspian, by the way. I guess you're here. I just see a black screen. Our name is our lawyer sent all our answers to the other teams in the chat. <laughs> hey wait i didn't see them <laughs> they erased the tape yeah they erased the tape so lee paula romero terry vincent and jane jane doesn't know what her thing is yet but the frogs are suing <laughs> alex joan next <laughs> i don't get it oh because he said that I, frogs I, are gay or something the gay frogs yes. what the chemicals that are being put in the water are turning the frogs gay. What? <laughs> That's ex his exact I words. It wasn't that one of the text messages yeah. or emails that, that the lawyers oh, was sending back and forth to, to um, Alex Jones and he said something about the frog. Uh, the that's a, Don't include the stuff about the frogs because nobody wants to see that. That's uh, so uh, many, There's too many Frenchmen as it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, is putting chemicals on purpose into the water <laughs> to make us all gay and his proof is that the like there's these frogs that can um you know like, frogs are reptiles so they can easily be uh, amphibians, amphibians. Oh, amphibians. Oh, sorry amphibians but uh i guess like their development is not like their sex can change oh yeah yeah there's, yeah, some... there's, a, there's a lot of animals that can do that yeah. Yeah. So the, these chemicals, uh, there's like there was some study that could turn them into the different sex. Is he confusing so gay just... frogs with transgender frogs? It sounds like it does. <laughs> sounds like it. it absolutely. Romero, sounds like it. how do you happen to know so much about this? I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah, I listened to a, that that podcast that uh, Vincent. Uh, oh. Yeah. yeah it's just about... A podcast about Alex Jones, and that's all they talk about. Oh my goodness! Uh, I assume Alex Jones was also all in on on the, uh, the, the the stop the steal thing, right? Oh yeah. Oh boy, he was, he was okay. there. That's mm. why. Uh, yeah, he, the Oath Keeper guy, was a good buddy. Uh, yeah, That's yeah. why they uh, subpoenaed his. I want somebody to do a his, podcast his just about me, twenty four seven, <laughs> just talking about me and and. I, Watching everything, I, I I can't wait. Why isn't there somebody who's following me around? No, actually, that would be really awful. Okay, so we're ready to start because we should be starting right now. Even though I love just chatting with you guys, so we have here are our team names. We are August fourth. Believe it or not, oh my gosh, it's half the years and more is gone. So August fourth, twenty twenty two. We're on game one hundred and nineteen, season three, three episode 10 and it's so great to have you guys all together so the teams that are competing for the award for game number 119 mm -hmm. which is just the award of the year oh my gosh it's amazing so you have bragging rights for the entire week and a video to prove it on on youtube on our fabulous channel that has maybe four views on one of our videos they're there so we have monkey pox immune versus we had a team name, but somebody erased the tape versus may your enemies have Alex Jones's lawyer. This is the theme uh, versus our lawyer sent all our answers to the other teams in the chat. 
versus the frogs are suing Alex no Jones next. Wow, how will we ever choose? We'll have to have a trivia game to find oh, out who will be. Is that what we're doing winner. tonight? Wow. A game 119. Yeah, that's what we're going to do tonight. We're going to have a trivia game. So our team leaders tonight, number one, we're going to start off with Rob Palmer, who is not the Rob Palmer in jail, but this is the legitimate Rob Palmer that plays trivia with us versus Karen, who I hopefully knows that she's got a category tonight versus Kevin, who hopefully knows he has a category tonight versus Carl versus Terry. Who's, doing, who's jumped in at the last moment to do the bonus for us. So there you go, you guys. Let's see who, who of all these amazing people is going to be the bragging rights winner of the entire week. And I'm trying to find Rob. There you are. Oh, he disappeared. He's we haven't had a perfect score yet, have we? Tonight might be the night. Oh, Look. are you feeling that? No, I think Kyle's team is stacked. Ooh. Oh, is that right? Who's on Kyle's team? Who else on Carl's team? Oh, it's Cass and it's Bob. Not and it's not stacked because I'm on that team. <laughs> <laughs> and remember, when Carl's doing his category, I'm on the team. Never so, mind. It will not be a perfect score tonight. <laughs> so, so there's the handicap right there. <laughs> you guys are the nicest people to me. I just love hanging out with you. I, my whole day is too like, easy. oh, good. It's Thursday. I can't wait to go and meet my friends and get in, and get them talking. Uh, I just insulted. throw crackers all down myself. Oh, my God. Susan, I'll do a category next week because I won't be here later tonight. So, All right. Vincent's up. Yeah. We will be recording it, too, though, Vincent. Pardon me? <laughs> We're going to record. Are you going to record it? Oh, oh, yes. Yeah, that is true. Robert, Robert. Okay, you ready for the first category? So does anyone have a guess from my backdrop? Yeah, Godzilla versus King Kong. No, things in black That's, and white. It is not Godzilla. You lose a point. That is it's a things in black and white. Is that Mothra? That is a T-Rex. Yeah, that's, that's a T-Rex. Oh, oh yeah, tiny. look at these little tiny hands. That's the T, tiny. But look at the little tiny... Person. Person. So I don't so, think they lived at the same time. So that is from a, a movie. <laughs> it's not real, but oh. the uh, category is there be giants. Mm. Oh no! There, there be giants. There be giants. You put an exclamation point on there. I did. Okay, so I need to have my um, muter. Who's muting people? Uh, wait, wait, it's wait be... before you mute. Before you uh -huh. mute, Miguel. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. She wanted to say, oh, okay. Gail, you're in charge of muting and throwing. Yeah, this is going to be all, all about the New York Giants. Muted okay. the computer. Wait a minute. I changed my odd to, oh. <laughs> um, it's, it's a mute is where? I'll, I'll mute myself. It's under mute. Stop video. No, uh, it's under participants. Participants, participants. shut up. You open the participants box and then Ooh. it's at the bottom. Yeah. Open the participants box and it's at the bottom. You all got it. Okay. And by the way, it doesn't mute you, Gail. Uh, so, yeah, no, I lied. It's not about the New York Giants. No sports questions at all. Uh, this is about uh, Giants. I'll just leave it at that. Okay. You'll get, you'll get the theme just from the, the questions. Question number one. This hour-long program aired on ABC for two seasons. Set in 1983, the series tells the tale of the crew and passengers of a transport ship on an ultra-fast suborbital flight. Just beyond Earth's boundary with space, the ship is dragged through a space warp to a mysterious planet where everything is 12 times larger than on Earth. Name the TV series. Question number two. In what work of fiction was the Terran Federation at war with giant intelligent bugs from the planet Klendathu? Did that copy wrong? That copied wrong, didn't it? Two. Yeah, it was a repeat of question one. There you go. There we go. Question three. There are 
Rhinsodon typus, also known as the whale shark, is the largest extant fish species. What was the confirmed length of the largest specimen ever measured? And give me that in decimal feet, and I'll take a plus or minus 10% on that. And I mean, if it's like, uh, you know, if it's six and a half feet long, don't say six feet, six inches, say 6.5. That's what I mean by decimal feet. Just because that's the way it was in the answer, and I don't want to do the conversion. <laughs> Number four. In what movie did a nest of gigantic irradiated ants discovered in the desert go on to become a national threat when two queens escaped to establish a new nest? As one does. <laughs> That's question I'm Mike, five. by the way. We're on, uh, we're on round one. I just skimmed, I gave you the um, couple questions that you would have missed there in your chat. Okay. Question number five is, when a woman investigates a clamor on the roof of her rural house, she discovers a tiny UFO has landed. Tiny spacesuited aliens emerge and attack her, or so it seems this is what's happening. Name this classic TV episode from the Twilight Zone. Hello. Somebody's not muted. That was me. Question six, Robert? Wadlow was the tallest person in recorded history for whom there is irrefutable evidence. His great size and his continued growth in adulthood were due to hypertrophy of his pituitary gland. Only his death at the age of 42 ended his growth. How tall was he at death in feet and inches? And I'll take plus or minus four. Question seven, back to the movies. This film storyline concerns the plight of a wealthy heiress whose close encounter with an alien causes her to grow into a giant, complicating her already very troubled marriage. It does not end well for either spouse. Name the film. Question eight. In the 1976 remake of King Kong, the Twin Towers replaced the Empire State Building as a location of like the climactic confrontation that brings down the giant ape. Who replaced Anne Darrow, played by Fay Ray, as Kong's fatal obsession? Name either the character or the actor. Question nine. According to researchers at Durham University and Universidad Nova de Lebos, this well-known tale originated more than five millennia ago, based on a widespread archaic story form, which is now classified by folklorists as ATU-328. The ATU, or Arne Thompson Youth Index, is a catalog of folktale types used in folklore studies. One other example, by the way, is UTA-425C, which is the origin of Beauty and the Beast, just to give you an idea. Question number 10. As far as we know, this was the largest creature to ever fly over the earth. It was as tall as a modern giraffe, unbelievable, and had a wingspan estimated at 36 feet. Some estimates give it much larger than that. And I got a bonus. In this film, an agricultural scientist played by Peter Graves grows gigantic vegetables using radiation. Unfortunately, the vegetables are eaten by locusts, which are short horned grasshoppers, which quickly grow to gigantic size and attack nearby Chicago. Name the movie. And that's it. Any questions? I guess Alan can just look out the window. Yeah, the bonus and... didn't go in. You the put 10. Yeah, 10 posted again. Right. Post it again. Why is it doing that? Bonus. These are, these are good questions, Rob. I like the category already. There be giants. It, that is it. very good, I, and we've never had giants. I, I looked at the um, oh, I always amazing this. list of stuff that we do, yeah. the categories we've covered, and I keep thinking, there's no, what else could we possibly do? And then you guys turn around and give me something new. It's great. <coughs> well, now I know why my grass isn't growing. <laughs> All right, Gail. Send us to our rooms. Don't forget to put me in a, in a room. So I know at least four of these. I got it. He said lie to his room. He deserves it. Okay. 
Kevin, you are in three. Jane, you are in five. Deborah, you are in one. And that's good. I think everybody's clear. Yeah, there's Deborah. Okay. Hi. So number one is Land of the let's see, Land of the Giants. Oh, I remember that program. Yep. Uh, and number two, I was thinking it was Starship Troopers. Yep. That's a good answer. Largest known Yep, I think that's right. I actually knew that one. Number three, um, see, my wife and I, we went diving with whale sharks off the coast of Perth in Australia just a few years ago. <clears throat> and they're huge. They're really huge. Um, it could be easily 100 feet, maybe, or more. They're huge. Um, <clears throat> so this is a dead species, a dead, uh, oh, well, non-existent species? No, no extant yeah. means they're still around. Yeah, yeah, and they, and shark around. aren't really well, fish because they're not, they're not, they're invertebrates, but that's fine. So they're, they're not they're not mammals so either. <laughs> no. Well, they're not they're not fish because fish are vertebrates and they're not vertebrates. No, no, they are. No, they are fish. They don't have lungs. They have gills. They have gills, but they they aren't fish because they're not vertebrates. They're in a different category. Um, I think they're, I, they're they they have cartilage for skeleton, but it's yeah, in the they same do. cartilage. They don't. But have it's a, in the but it's in the same places time. that I thought. I think they have vertebra. They're just made out of. Yeah, I, I think they do. I mean, they're huge. Um, I mean, we went diving with them, and um, some of the largest ones, the width of their mouth is like our bed. The, probably the width of their mouth is like 20 feet. It's just the, their mouth width. Wow. So what it's do you huge. think? You're saying 10 feet? No, 100 feet. 100 feet. I just read all the feet? questions. I don't know any of them, so <laughs> I'm going to play solitaire here or something. 100 so, feet is good, yeah. So that's uh, anywhere from 90 to 110. Yeah, right. Yeah. I'm guessing it's probably 80 or something. They're huge. Um, they're enormous. <clears throat> I don't know what number four is, but I want to see it. it sounds interesting. <laughs> uh, let's see. You all can read this, right? Is it yeah. yeah. No, excellent. That's excellent. Radiated um, ants. I've heard of this, but I have no idea what the name of it was. This is probably one of those movies we would have seen as children uh, at the double matinee at the movie theater. <laughs> could it be? Uh, could it be Ant Man? I didn't see Ant Man. I would, I uh, why would it be Ant Man? Because it has yeah. the name. Why Ant not? Because <laughs> well, it has Ant women. Ant It'd be women, Ant right? They're queen. Well, Ant they're queen ants, though they're not people ants. But um, but how did how did Ant Man become an ant? Remember, it's one of these Marvel, these stupid Marvel movies. And, yeah, that's, and, a, that's a Marvel thing, yeah. Well, when a, a man loves a woman very much, they have babies. And so they turn, the into, and they turn somebody, into ants somehow. Ant -Man. Yeah, it's A U U N T. Uh -huh. <laughs> what was the, what was there is an animated movie? There were a couple of them about ants recently, recently, like in the last 10 oh, years. Yeah. yeah. Remember that? Yeah, Bugs yeah. Life for Bugs Life was bugs in general, but wasn't there another one with just ants? Like, yeah, there's one called ants. Um, yeah, ants with a Z. Yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't four. It mm. wasn't four, but did, wasn't weren't there others with that same thing? Same Bugs Life character? and then ants. Uh, and Ant Man. Um. Well, I have ant women on there now as a as an answer. Let's go on and come back. <laughs> and women? <laughs> well, we can, can't say ant men because they're not very queens. Ant men. And the ants, the, the men count only for fertilization purposes. No. I don't think it's a biological documentary in any case. No. <laughs> That's probably true. No. <laughs> I um. suspect. I know this series so well, and I have watched it not too long ago because I was. I was um, mm. 
going oh, through the, all the, the Twilight the, Zone. Yeah, and I was yeah. ready. I was waiting for it because I knew it was going to come in one of the questions. Mm. And I was going to say Twilight Zone, but he already gave us the Twilight Zone part. Do you remember the, the episode? Of the it's a great episode. It's one where there's no speaking during the episode. It was mm. it made it special because she can't. She's just afraid of them, <clears> and <throat> they terrorize her. But I don't know what the name of the episode was. Whoever looks at the name of the episode. But at the very, very end, it, it comes in and it's uh, these little, on these little guys, these little creatures that are terrifying her to the whole program. And it goes in and you see the little logo and it says it's the United States. <laughs> it's a great episode. Mm. Oh, so she's yeah. actually really big. <laughs> well, she, she, that's the point. You don't yeah. know the very last minute, typical yeah. Twilight Zone. Yeah, yeah. That's good. And she's all hysterical. I mean, it, it is absolutely a program where there's a lot of noise, but there is absolutely no speaking because mm. no one can talk to anybody. <laughs> and I don't know what the name of the episode is. No. Not a clue. Never saw it. We should move on. Yeah. Number six, I remember this guy, and he was yeah, massive, too. so he's going to have to be like nine feet or something. I don't think that, that, that tall. I thought it was like... Tallest man. Yeah. Ever. And we've had thought, eight people, so... I mean, there's football, there's basketball players that are seven feet something. So I just um, read, this a couple of days ago, I read about him. Um, there's eight foot people, right? Eight foot? Can't people yeah. be eight foot? I'm sure they can be eight foot. Yeah, I think, and it's a plus or minus four inches. So I think nine feet one. Well, that gives us going too high, probably. If we have a a range, uh, how about if eight we said foot something nine? Like, yeah, if we said something like eight foot nine or eight foot eight. Yeah, because it's not going to be much more than nine. Yeah. Okay. Eight foot eight. Makes <clears throat> sense. Yeah. Eight, eight, eight foot nine eight. foot two. I remember this, so I wonder if he when he died. If he hadn't died, he would have continued to grow. That's what eight, eight like foot eight just <clears throat> takes you to nine feet. <coughs> yeah, you're That's right. Which right. is so what I'm we're thinking it is. Eight feet nine. So I bet you he was over. I I bet you he think he's higher than nine feet. I'm gonna make it eight foot ten, and that way you've got like eight and eight. Right. Right. And, and you got nine foot was, two. Got yeah, nine I don't foot think, two. I don't, I don't think I just, I just read about this. I don't think he was that tall. Um, what do you I, think? I, think, I thought it was like. I think it was like 70, 7 foot 11, something like that. No, I, I, I think I, up to 8 foot is... 8 foot 8 seems like an I've awful... I've heard of. Well, that, if we say 8 foot 8, then it covers 8 foot 4. Mm -hmm. Right. That's true. Yeah, that's true. And okay, 8 right. 4 <clears throat> seems like, yeah, that's got to... That, 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 sounds, that sounds reasonable to me. Okay. Okay, for number uh, 10, I need to... Yeah. He's not the general family name, he said. No idea. Which one? Let's see, number seven? Yeah. Uh, no. I have no idea. And number very seven? Complicated, idea. already a very troubled marriage. I have no idea. All right. Have you well, shrunk my kids? Is um number eight. A uh, number eight? Was yeah. that Christina Applegate? Attack of the Amazon woman. <laughs> Number nine, seven? Yeah. Who plays Dan Barrow? Who, who was it? And Number eight. Oh, number yeah. eight. I like what, what, I like saying, what uh, Larry said for seven. Oh, who, what's number seven? What do you have, Larry? I, I, I said Attack of the Amazon woman. Wasn't I think that's a movie. I've heard of it. <laughs> it's better than nothing. Yes, I have not a clue on that one. Okay, now so Jamie, eight. you had an answer for the next one. Uh, was that Christina Applegate? I number eight. Is. Do you remember? I remember I that know. they made such a movie, but I don't have no any idea who was played that Christina it. Applegate. I'm guess I'm just guessing. better at putting that in if you want to change it. Okay. Now. Okay. Five millennia ago. Oh, interesting. I didn't know they had 
classifications and, and numbers for all their stories. Yeah, I didn't do that. Oh, could that be um, oh, Gulliver's Travels? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's a good guess, I think. Gulliver's Travels, which one? Nine. Number nine. nine. You know, that is a really good one. Five millennia ago, wow. Has Gulliver been around for that long? Oh, no. Really, really good guess. Yeah. See, so who else? Five 5,000 years ago? Or David and Goliath? Oh, you know, that's another good guess. I think I think David and Goliath would make more sense than uh, Gulliver's Travels. I don't think I think Gulliver's Travels was more recent, unless hmm? well, yeah, it, it was millennia, unless uh, it was it, based on some previous character. I think David, David and Goliath is better. Yeah, David. But see, but right. Goliath was a Phoenician. I know Phoenician. He was Philistine, and that uh -huh. was probably two thousand BC. How well, many BCs? You need yeah. David in front. You need David in front. Yeah, David and Goliath. I just, I don't know if it's five millennia ago. I think that's four millennia so ago. That would be like 2,500 base BC, roughly something, right? 3,000. Mm -hmm. Yeah, somewhere between 25 and 3,000. A long time ago. Yeah. But those stories <laughs> came from somewhere. Mm -hmm. Well, that's yeah. right. And they were... They weren't originally in the Bible. Frequently repeated. And I, yeah. I make more sense because I don't think Gulliver's Travels has been around that long. No. Millennia, you know? No. Five exactly. millennia. That, that has to be something really ancient. Yeah. Okay, the largest creature to fly over Earth. I what actually remember hearing about this recently, but I don't remember what it was. It was the pterodon? It's some sort of Pterodactyl? Pterodactyl. It's a flying... It's a, yeah, it's a flying... Um, Crypto. A, a flying, not a dinosaur. Not a dinosaur. I think it's one of the. That but it, well, it was at the same time as the dinosaurs. Really. Yeah, the ter pterodactyl. It's is that is that one that flies? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you, did you see my broadcast message for number ten? Yeah. Okay. No Some people. No. Yeah, I said it. I read it out loud to you guys. Okay, so Susan did. So we just we did a test, by the way. Name. When people were screen sharing and I did that, they didn't see it at all. So that's just bad. I didn't it's way up at the very top and it's only there really quick. Yeah, so I'm going yeah, to... Yeah, I saw it. We're for, we're screen sharing and I okay. saw it, but it, it, was, it, but it disappeared. But by the time I went up there to look at it, it was gone again. Sure. I never yeah. saw it. What did it say? We need a, you need a species name, not a general family. Like you can't say... Bird, you would have to say a robin if the robin is oh, okay. 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 Yeah. We had already figured that out. That would be too easy. That would be and he doesn't write questions that easy. Seriously. Okay, and the bonus, right? And then we go back to some of them. Giant size <clears throat> vegetables. I had no sent the grasshoppers. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you guys, only Deborah and I got that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I love that story. I do too. <laughs> mm, okay. Well, it's probably You're something brave. simple like attack of the locusts. Ooh. Or attack of the giant locusts. How's that? Yeah. I'm scared oh, already. I guess that's it, right? Did we get everything? Um, well, we've got an answer for everything. <laughs> we skipped something, I think. Well, I think we skipped the one that I can't oh. remember the name of. The episode. Um, oh, the Twilight Zone. Oh, yeah. Um, the Visitors or something? I know. That it, it, name. It, it had to be. It had to be something that didn't indicate that it was going to be the Americans who were, who were the, the villains in this case. Yeah. Hmm. Because that's the big wow at the end, and it's a famous actress who plays the part. I can hear in my Is head by his name. Um. Yeah, I remember the episode. It had, the ending was kind good. of like Planet of the Apes. It had a shock, the same shocking ending as Planet of the Apes. Well, the same. same that's Star Trek was uh, Twilight Zone was famous for that. Yeah. You, you all of a sudden at the end you got the. Great 
the, the great the twist. And that was an inevitable one. As soon as he said the category, I was waiting for this question. And I was ready to say Twilight Zone episode. And of course, he <laughs> Visitors? I'm usually the names are, usually names on these Twilight Zone series, usually they're obscure enough. It won't say the attack of the they don't, they don't, who's fighting with their heads. They, they don't give it away. Visitors is I, gonna it answer. might be something like the extraterrestrials or something that suggests that they are coming to us because that's what you're supposed to think. During the yeah. whole episode, you're supposed to think that she's a person here living by herself and being invaded yeah. by these scary extraterrestrials. And then it turns out we're the scary extraterrestrials. Could you <laughs> mute me? Wait, what happens? Oh, mute, uh, you mute me. Mute me. Yeah. Okay. So what happens, Gail? I haven't seen this one. Okay. The, the, you see the woman, she's just living her normal life in the house all by herself. And the spaceship lands and the spacemen come out all garbed like spacemen. So they're all wearing these uniform things. And she gets, she's hysterical. She's so afraid of them. And all through the episode, they're doing things and she's trying to get, and she's trying to kill them and she's trying to kill them and she's trying to kill them. And then at the end, she succeeds. And then the camera goes in close and you see that they were, they were from NASA on the, on the logo on the spaceship. So she the idea was just to you think until the very last second that the that she was a person here being invaded by these because they're wearing spacesuits so they look and you can't tell where they are right and you think that's what's going on he and actually it's was great in the, um, to find out that we're the invaders not them so she's she's living in a house and looks like a regular human person and whatever yes and she doesn't say a word which is part of the point right? oh. the whole episode she, now that she she makes a lot of noise. But she never speaks because there's no one to speak to. She's all by herself. Oh yeah, that would give it away too quickly. What, what should we say? I thought visitors. Have... Visitor. Let's call it visitors. Visitor. Because I can't think of anything better. And I think that's a good answer. answer. It's the kind of thing they would have, I think. Yeah. Okay, so we have now an answer for everything, but a lot of them are going to be wrong. Probably most of them. Yeah, he does yeah, hard, hard categories. Hmm. I should have known a lot of these. I'm, uh, this is the kind of thing I'm supposed to know. <laughs> you always don't, don't always know what you know. After all, I didn't know you were that big a... Rob, was Doogie Howser in any of these movies? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I got a kitty. I believe the answer is yes. Doogie Howser, MD. I was very <laughs> disappointed to not have any questions about Hamilton. the Rock Hudson film you know Giants. Giants. Rock Hudson and James Dean. Yeah. Hamilton so, uh, and hey, could, be, could be a round two of this. That's round okay. two, Giant it's two. You just Electric that. Boogaloo. Was this inspired <laughs> by the one question from the Sherlock Holmes round last week about? No, you know what's giant? weird? We were, I was driving home with my wife from dinner on Monday, and we were just talking about something. <laughs> And, and, and then right now, I can't even remember the details, but something came up about, oh, that's a large thing. Wait, that's a large thing. I could do a category. And that's, I went home and finished it. Oh, is that what it was? Oh, that's, I was wondering. We don't want to hear about your married people talk. <laughs> about giants. Okay. Large so, things in your life. Here we go. Who am I? You would like <laughs> mine then, Karen. He never talks. So que <laughs> question number one, here's the answers. Question number one. So this was a forgive me, I think, because it's got giants in the title, The Land of the Giants from 1968. Oh, Karen's embarrassed. Yeah. Well, it wasn't not, that much of a give me. Did, did Karen not get that? <laughs> oh, Karen got that. All right, I'll put all the answers in at the end, by the way. Uh, the uh, work of fiction with the Terran Federation. I kind of like that because it's sort of a cross between uh, the, the prime universe and Star Trek and, and the mirror universe um, is Starship Troopers from 1959 originally. Or if you wrote Starship Soldier, I will take that because that was the original title by Robert A. Heinlein. <coughs> Movie directed by Paul Verhoeven. Thank you. No extra points, Carl. Of RoboCop. <laughs> the... Um, the, the whale shark, uh, everyone I heard, I didn't hear everyone say it, but everyone I heard was way too small. The monster, 61.7 feet. Oh, jeez. <gasps> yeah. yeah. 
Oh. We got it. So the range is 55.5 to 67.9. Yes. Thank right. you, Paul. <laughs> That's, I, can you imagine seeing that thing swim by? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> but oh, they're, like, well they're like gentle. Yeah. No, the, the, present day those are the present day whale sharks. Those are the gentle ones. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's that's extant. Extant means present day. Did present somebody day. say baby shark? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's move to the gigantic irradiated ants. One of the first horror films I could remember seeing as a kid, Them from 1954. Yes, hey Peggy. Them? That's one of the first horror films I remember seeing. Them too. with an exclamation mark. Yeah, if you didn't do the exclamation <laughs> mark, it'll be I no, oh, actually got it though. Mike got the exclamation mark. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, you got it. So uh yes, uh as um was pointed out in the room that I was in, uh, I actually did a Twilight Zone, Zone episode uh, thing. And this might have been one of the questions or something similar to it. Kevin got that right. Yeah, the the uh episode was called uh The Invaders. Yes. With Agnes so, Morehead. Was so close. Yes. Awesome. And Dora. I was gonna guess that too. Shoot. Also from Al Phil Hitchcock's uh, lifeboat. Wait, Rob, yeah. wasn't the subtitle Clamor on the Roof? Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> I, actually, the subtitle was uh, We Have No Special Effects Money, So It's Little Toy Robots. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, pretty sad effects. Pretty freaking bad. Um, number six. <laughs> so um, I am amazed some team got ex this exactly right. <laughs> To the inch, I, I'm amazed. So it's eight feet eleven inches, eleven point. You got it. All right. I, uh, and the, and the, so the range there is. Karen uh, knew it. Wow, eight feet seven point one to nine feet three point one. Oh, we got I'm it. The land of the lost. We yeah. just got it. We got it. Yeah. Nice. We got it. Yeah. Got it. Nice. <laughs> Good job. Wow. So okay. Nobody's we... ever been nine feet. I thought there was at least one person who's been nine. Is feet. it okay if we said nine feet three inches? Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. Within, that's, the, in the that's within the range. That's All in right. the range. You got a point. Good. Yeah. Yeah, I was I was actually going to ask. I started that question by just asking the guy's name, and I forget now. Let me. Nobody know his name. Carl. I know his right? name. Carl. I saw oh, his yeah. picture in the uh, in the Guinness records. But you don't remember his name. You remember some tall dude. There's a, there's a yeah. again, the range in Hollywood. Hollywood. So you'll see him every time you walk by it. Number Where? seven. Where? Number seven is. The Guinness Book of World Records Museum in Hollywood. Well, like, I do the that same, all the time. I'm always The same museum. By. He's the same guy in all the museums with big plastic. Yeah. Guy. Rob only knows his name because him. his name is Robert. That's right. <laughs> Except I also I also want to I always want to say Waldo instead of Wadlow, so that's weird. Uh, so the odd storyline, which is actually sort of a science fiction horror comedy, was Attack of the Fifty Foot Woman from nineteen. Yes, yeah. Peggy. She, the spoiler: she actually you know gets hey, killed because she's attacking, and she dies with her fiance squished in her hand, as I recall. So, <laughs> so they're both dead. Um, what a way to go. Yeah, and, and he was clearly shown as, as a philanderer before uh, the thing happened. <laughs> Couldn't happen to a nicer guy. Right, so, um, all right, 1976, King Kong, stomping all over the top of the Twin Towers, and unbelievably, his, like, bazillion of pounds don't destroy the tower, go through the roof, and make it collapse. I always thought that was stupid, even as a kid when I saw it. Um, <laughs> it but, did make right. it collapse, only it was 16 years later. <laughs> <laughs> right. They hadn't, put the, chart, they hadn't put the charges yeah, yeah, that the That's what made the damage the that, that surfaced when the planes hit it. That's that's right. Good point. Okay, so... Uh, before or after Snake Plissken landed on the roof? Who play, replaced Ann Darrow? I'm laughing, why, Carl. Why did they have to change her name from, I don't, uh, from Ann Darrow? I don't know why they did that. But anyway, it was Dwan, D-W-A-N. <laughs> totally got that one. What? And Jessica Wait, Lang. It, it was a Lang, okay. The actress? Jessica Lang was the actress, and the character okay. was Dwan, D W A N. Okay. It was Dawn. It was Dawn, but she switched the letters to make it more interesting. Yeah, I, I remember the it one. It was. You remember that? Yeah. No idea why they had. No, it. only the men remember that. <laughs> <laughs> I switched the letters the, to make it more it interesting. In the, in the script. 
Uh, all right. And um, so this um, interesting uh, UTA 328, I've never heard of any of this stuff about the folklore. Uh, yeah, and that's I'm, sure, interesting. I'm sure Radford knows all about this. Uh, so this is, I saw at least one team get it, Jack and the Giant Man, also known as Jack and the Beanstalk. Yay! Oh! Thank you, Ben, for not talking us out of letting us get talked out of that. Well, what else were you? What were That's you, what? really good. We, we had Goliath. I we didn't Goliath. not quite not understand that. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. So what did you put? What else did people put? Well, Paul Bunyan was another option. Oh, we we, first, we started with Gulliver's Travels. Yeah, Amy came up that. with yeah. Gulliver's Travels, and then he changed to uh, uh, David and Goliath. Those were all really good guesses, I think. Yeah, yeah. Those are literature, though. Okay, so num number 10. I'm not even going to try to pronounce this name. Uh, I'm just going to put it right in the chat now. Is this the Ramphorhynchus? The Ketokoalas? Yeah, that one. <laughs> oh, we got it. Okay. Oh, really? Oh, wow. Oh, we got oh. it. What was it? Yeah, anything close, I'll take. Obviously, awesome. yeah. who was the oh, dinosaur yeah. junkie? Not, not dinosaurs. Oh not dinosaurs flying around. It's a, it's a. Oh, it's Bob, a you knew that. Uh, we guessed that. We, Bob we has a chicken. Bob has a very good bird brain. Ah, got it. Well, no, yeah, Carl and I both both came up with that, but. I was afraid that that wasn't the one, but that was, we couldn't think of anything else, so. And you got it? So you got it. Okay. I, put yeah, page, got I put the Wikipedia page for Robert. It was Wattel. either a dinosaur yeah. junkie or a chicken junkie. Yeah, you should you should put the Wikipedia page for that thing. Like, <laughs> no, he's when, a wingman. When, when, uh, oh. Oh. Hey. Hey. You, you see the the uh, the reconstructions of the thing standing next to a giraffe. It's like, can you like I've seen giraffes above me at like a safari park near me. I, like something with wings that big flying is just beyond imagining. What is, what does this look like? What? Who said? Oh, with chickens on your head. <laughs> bird does brain. Bird look brain. like a giant bird like brain hatching a giant egg or something. Yes, <laughs> I could see that, Bob. Okay, and the bonus, I put this as a bonus because uh, of all the like names of the films or whatever, this one, I remember seeing the movie when I was a kid, but I had no, because that's my birth year, it's from 1957, but I had no idea about the name of this. Uh, I could not have come up with this in a million years. It is beginning of the end. Oh, oh geez. Anybody get that? Yep. No. Yes, oh, I heard somebody they say They covered yes. that movie on MST3K. Uh, you're going to need a bigger shoe. <laughs> Beginning of the uh, end? Yep. Yeah, that's, that's freaking it, amazing. Oh, and the, the production values are horrible. They, like, took postcards of the city and put grasshoppers on the postcards <laughs> and shot, shot video of it to make it look like the grasshoppers were climbing up the building. It's really, really cheesy. <laughs> oh, God. I want to see it now. What is the answer to number yeah. seven, please? Seven is Attack of the 50-Foot Woman. Oh, okay. So on the height one, I don't think we were in the range, right? What was the range? Uh -huh. we, eight, we guessed five, eight, inches. Eight, five inches. Was yes. so the, the answers are all in the chat. The answers are in the chat, sure. oh. including okay. the ranges. Oh, okay, because, oh, ah, oh, there are the answers. What did you guess, Wendy? just post them right now. Yeah. <laughs> Wendy, what did you guess? Oh, okay, let me count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, there's two people in the waiting room, it says. Seven. For number six. Seven again? For number six, what did you guess? Oh, number six? Um, We, we got the wrong answer. We said uh, eight feet, five inches, and that's too oh, short. Oh, close. But now, then, then he hit puberty and grew. <laughs> Did you guys see the picture? I put it up on the Wikipedia page. I put his, his him standing next to his father. Yeah, I've seen that's a famous picture of him. Oh my gosh! Yeah, oh my it, gosh. It, it, it looks like right, it looks like that's a special guy. effect. It looks like that's a science. Oh, Terry, we got. <laughs> oh, cool. Oops, sorry. That doesn't even yeah. just. Yeah, there's a the picture, you guys. That just seems so unreal. Yeah. It looks yeah. like an optical illusion, doesn't it? It does. Yeah. Look at his father. 
But you can see how his knees are kind of look like they're bent. He's probably kind of got some issues. Yeah, he had a lot of uh, spinal issues. Yep. Now his mother uh, is interesting as well. She's of normal height, but she walks like Hopalong Cassidy. <laughs> how so, big is he at birth? I think they're saying he that he's normal. probably normal, but he just ended up... Um, the pituitary gland growing. Yeah. Yeah. Growing, growing, growing. Would he have um, continued so growing if he had stayed... Yeah, 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 they said he was growing right up to the last minute that they know about, yeah. Yeah, he's, yeah. Well, the he last age old. they have on here, his height was at 22 years. He but was, he wasn't old. He wasn't... I, I, had, a, I had a... I had a cousin a who, who died from that. He and he was only wow. like twenty or something. Wow! How yeah. tall did he get? Uh, you know, I don't know. But the last time I saw him, he was probably in the like six, seven or something like that. And he's, you know, they weren't all that tall. I mean, they were a little bit tall in their family, but he was clearly taller than he should have been. Would that young. be treatable now? Yeah, I'm wondering the same. Possibly, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you keep I growing right. right till thirty, so he was young. Well, it's said I he went to 42. Growing to 30. What? what? I stopped growing in the what? eighth grade. Oh, he died at 22. No, 42. Oh, I thought he, he, died 42. At, he died at 42. No, it says 22. What's his 22? At his death at age 22. Where'd you get that? Wikipedia. Uh oh, I have 42. He says 22, and his, his, um, no, I think it, no, no, he was in his forties, definitely. Yeah, no, you got to fix that, Susan. Well, it says he was he was born in 1918 and he died in 1940. I clicked 22. on your 22. link, Susan. And Wikipedia never lies. It's true. Yeah, I can't do math either. Well, wait, 22 to 18. That's 1940. Yep. 19. 18 that's 22 yeah so i think rob's wrong mm. so that's no, no. challenge wikipedia it, it yeah, wasn't so. relative to the question though so no, the question. no it wasn't but i was wondering about it because on wikipedia they have this growth chart and it goes to his his he was 22 years four inches i mean 20 years four months and they have his height so yeah, I was it, if he lived it, to 42, why didn't it's, they? It's possible I just did a typo when I was typing that because it wasn't I think you're right. question. It's 42, 22, it's close. And like like yeah. Deborah said, her cousin didn't live long either. Yeah. I can't imagine yeah. magic yeah. continuing to grow. Yeah, sounds like that's 42. right. I just Googled it quickly it and every, everything spots up 22. So yeah. Can you see that? I shared my screen. Yeah. That's the and that's the start of the invaders episode. Oh, and you're right. Wow. I remember that now. Yeah. yeah, that Rod Serling is a giant. That's deceptive. That is giant. deceptive. They should not have done that. Yeah. No, I think oh. it makes it better. Makes it better. No. Gail gave us the whole rundown of it. She couldn't quite remember the name, but she knew the episode really well. One of my favorites, top five. Perfect. Okay, are scores. The, scores. Are the old oh. shows on YouTube? No, oh. Netflix has the entire series. Yeah. All right. Monkey oh, really? Fox okay. Immune, which is Canadian, Rob's team. How did you Canadian do? Canadian Netflix does not. We had three. Oh, no. Three. No. Oh, it's only your team, Rob. No. Good job. We had more than three. Three. Great job, Rob. We got the high than... guy. What team? Three? Oh, no, team one. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> crackers, in <here. laughs> crackers in here. Okay. We had a team name, but somebody erased the tape. Let's just say. <laughs> Six? I thought we got seven. We had seven. Which one? I got six. Which ones? Because we didn't, one was wrong. Let's see. We got no, one, two. I thought one was right. One was oh. right. We had no, Land of the Lost Land, and Land of the Giant. Land of the Giant. Oh, oh okay. We got All right. Six. You're right. No six. Cigar. Yeah, you're right. My dog was barking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look. That's great. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. I did that with, min with miniature cameras. I mean, um, why was the soldier firing his rifle in the wrong direction? That was awful. <laughs> okay, so he was, he was very upset. It was a giant. So, uh, team, um, our may your lawyer, may your enemies all have Alex Jones's lawyer. Seven. Oh. Uh, <laughs> our lawyer sent all our answers to the other teams in the chat. Nine. <laughs> wow we hate you the frogs are suing alex jones next Nine. we love our, we love ourselves so it's okay. i think i actually like that the team name but you know what 
What was the last score? Nine. 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 Wow. So we have an average of seven. Guess uh, what, which team? <laughs> the team you were on, Susan. No, no. The curse. The curse. No, no. It's because you weren't there. I cannot get these scores to, to. Let me share my screen so you guys can yell at me for a second. Susan, oh. remember the good old days when we used to teach you the formula every episode? <laughs> yeah. I got like, minutes teaching her how to set up a Why can't I get the <laughs> scores to come over here? See? Because you erased it. Yeah, there's got to be a formula in there. You can copy the cells from above down below to below. Where, which part do I copy this? Yeah. Click on 28. From, or from total. It doesn't matter as long as you replace it in the same place. Click on one of the squares. This is going to take an hour. No, Never no, mind. no. You, do the whole, you don't do it one at a time. Drag okay. from total down to the 32.2. There you yeah. go. No, 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 no. Yes. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Undo, undo. Undo, undo. you better undo. Undo. There you go. Okay, so copy to uh, 32 you know to, point. Do you know how to select, select? Yes, copy. And then and what? Then click in total, uh, the other total below. Uh-huh. And do paste. Paste. Oh, my God. Yay. Yay all right. It's because I didn't get a. Five people yelling. I'm coming at over. Guy. I'm gonna come <laughs> over there, Susan. I'm, you know, I swear. The problem. Well, then why is the maximum score? Wait, another. Hey, problem. Adrian. Team two, team two had six. Hi, Adrian. Seven. Okay. Hello, everyone. Six. Hello. Hello. Adrian Hello. here. So Hi, why Adrian. is it giving me the 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 yellow for six? I don't know. I'll go. I'll Maybe go into it. Because random the yellow up above. I'll go in now. Random I'll, humiliation. I'll go in and fix it. Okay, Rob will fix it. Hi, right, brother. Fix it. He's colorblind. <laughs> so guess who gets Adrian? Yay! Yay Adrian. <laughs> See, there's Adrian. method to your madness. Madness. Yeah. So sorry. We should have just lost by one point, not by that much. <laughs> Well, sorry, guys. But anyway, you get Adrian. We came so. close on some of the answers, but they weren't quite right. Weren't quite right. Yeah, yeah. We were. We 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 made really intelligent guesses. I'm not embarrassed by the guesses. We you thought it was plus or minus four feet for the guy. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't. We didn't do horribly. But anyway, I didn't help. We didn't do. We didn't do great either. Yeah. Well, I didn't help anybody. Okay. So now that we've got that out of the way, I'm going to make the next person there. It is going to be Karen, and Karen is right there. So I found her very quickly on the screen. So she's going to go make co-host. Okay, Karen, you are okay. you are up. Okie dokie, artichokes. About artichokes. Well, oh, good. The police are here. Charlie, get out of there. The police are here. At my place. Oh, I hope they're not at your house. Oh, they finally caught you, huh? Yeah. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Go ahead, Karen. So, so you really are a mass murderer, Vincent. You said you were. So it's tell like them you have flow. tell them you have twenty nine or twenty eight character witnesses right on your computer, and if the SWAT team busts through the window, we'll know it's a joke. I think Karen's, Car Karen's trying to by. fly away. No, Karen. bad time. Bad time for a hot flash. Okay. Oh. <laughs> you know, Vincent, I was only kidding when I said those bad jokes are a crime. What you get for eating oh. microwave fish. Oh. We're Again, recording Karen. just in case. We got the evidence, Vincent. Okay. Uh. The category is Julia and Jacques cooking at home. This is based on recipes from this book, Cooking at Home, from by Julia Child and Jacques Pepin. In 1999, U.S. American chef uh, Julia Child and French chef Jacques Pepin hosted a program on public TV that showed viewers how to prepare various dishes uh, of their own styles, you know, traditional dishes, but they added their own styles and special touches. So the idea is to match the list of ingredients to the list of dishes. dishes. All right. And I want Gail? you... Monde? Gail's going to mute us. Oh, it's okay. I like it. I like... I like it. I like it when people give me shit. Karen thrives on chaos. Okay. So I want to make sure you note this. In most instances, the main protein that would kind of give away the dish is not listed in the list of ingredients, right? 
So you'll get sets of ingredients and there might only be some of the ingredients. Do not think these are the total ingredients of the dish. They're just some, right? And there are 12 matches to be made, but only 10 points total. I'm gonna give you 12 dishes and 12 sets of ingredients. So you have 12 chances to get 10 points total, right? Got it. And so here's the example. And, oh, and when I give the points, when I when you're configuring your scores, you want to put the uh, number first and then the letter, such as number 86, ingredients, honey, agave, beets, maple syrup, dates, sugarcane is O, le rouge de fructose et glutose. 86 is is O, right? So that's the way you want to. I thought you were going to do this all in Julia Child's voice the whole way. Because that would be I don't think yes. people that need hamburger help are going to do very well in this category. Okay, too. there we go. <laughs> I, had twiz I had Twizzlers and crackers for dinner. What do you Okay. Okay, so here we go. So here is your list of ingredients, and I'm not going to read them. Uh, we'll read them uh, when we do the um, recap. So your list of ingredients is here. One through 12 list of ingredients. You see those there. And we'll read them upon the return. That is your list of ingredients. So you're going to say one is Z or Y or whatever. Here is the list of dishes to match it to. Uh, here we go. Here is the list of dishes. I will read the list of dishes for the benefit of those watching. The dishes are A, salad niçoise, B, boeuf bouguillon, C, country pate, D, sole meunière, E, eggs benedict, F, chateaubriand, G, salmon and papillote, H, onion soup gratiné, I, steak au puff, J, Caesar salad, K, shrimp cocktail, L, oysters on the half shell. So nobody has an excuse to not get at least three of these correct. <laughs> so do you have any questions, friends? Make sure you do one is Z, two is T. Any questions? Great category, Karen. <laughs> Please don't banish me from the group after you try and come up with the answers. <laughs> okay, go to your rooms now, dear ones. As soon as I figure out how to do it, breakout rooms are now open. I need to go to room three. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I Who's got kicked Dennis's out. Who's Dennis's iPad? Kevin, one moment, please. Um, I got him. I don't show you as unassigned. Oh, I don't have, I got, no, I just fixed him. Dennis. Hello, Dennis. Where what are room, Dennis? Dennis? What room? Unmute yourself, brother. Oh, there you go. Hi. I was, I, I was very late. Sorry. All right. I need to be put back into room one, Susan. Okay, let me, let's put Dennis over in. Room one, Rob. room one. What I'm room? I'll Dennis. take care of Rob. I'll take you, care of Rob. Yeah, okay. You need your help. Dennis, I'm putting you in four. Rob, I adore you. Okay. He came into our room when we were making some engineer jokes. Oh, <laughs> Romero needs help in breakout room five. Can okay, you... I will come. Thank you. Are you okay, Susan? Where do yeah, you go? I'm going to go to two. I'm going to go oh. in my room. Oh. And right, we, we, yes. Yeah, the eggs and all that stuff. That's in salad meat was. Susan, somehow screen sharing got disabled. I can't screen share. It said it was disabled by host. So do you know how to fix that? Because that puts a damper well, that on That doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Um. Is it depending upon who opened the rooms and how they did it or no, something? No, no, it shouldn't. Let me see. Yeah, anytime I click screen share, it just says host disabled participant screen sharing. Okay, here we go. Uh, now try. Oh, yeah, because I was going to say I shared and then the sharing stopped. I'm like, I didn't Yeah, for some reason sharing. it got unchecked. I don't know why. Okay, yes. thank you. Susan right, was trying to. Everybody. 
take it away what? from so us. You were no, saying A12 is what? A, solid A. plus. All right, so how do we want to do? Just put a one into the number in front of the letter or the letter in front of the number, depending which one you want yeah, to do. Yeah, I don't know which way she wants to do it, but we'll do she it. She said she wants. Yeah, one, let's go one would be, if you go up to one, one is, um, well, I'm not sure. I think it's probably um, Solman year, but I'm not sure. I know two is definitely Which shrimp is cocktails. Uh, so. Yeah, two is definitely shrimp two, One is B. Two is K. Yeah, oh. put, put it right after the one. B. <clears throat> Black oh, peppercorns. Two, 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 two is K, yeah. Okay. Pork shoulder is country pate probably black peppercorns and fat yeah that's country pate which is c yeah. gruyere baguette time sprigs chicken stock white wine that's going to be the onion soup gratiné i believe h okay i have a category just like this category that i've been saving damn her but none of the answers are the same so i think i can okay, still you can do five, it. five is e i believe Eggs Benedict. Eggs Benedict, yeah, yeah hollandaise yeah. sauce. Yep, good call. Mmm, I am getting a little hungry. Yeah. Um, yeah. Whole lemon parmigiano, reggiano, a large egg, garlic. Ooh. Is that? Ooh. Uh, Black pepper, olive oil. So the meat's not going to be in there. Oh, this one is the Caesar salad. This that's is what I was wondering. There is no protein. We don't have to think of it. Yes, that's Jay. All White right. pepper, butter, shallots, diced tomato, whole fat leaf broth. <laughs> Come here, eggs, Benedict, Chateau Brion. That looks like the oysters on the hash. No, no, there's there's something missing it for that. Oh, you know, the mignonette with lemon wedges is probably the oysters on the hash shell. I'll bet that's L. So one's probably L. Which one? One. I think like, mignonette so sauce one is, is the L, not D? Yeah, I think so. I think mignonette see. goes on... Uh, Oysters. And then this one could be the Sol Meunier. Well, I don't um, know. Not with potato, not with tomatoes, though. All these dishes are too fancy for me, so I have no idea. I, I wouldn't, <laughs> I'm not even going to attempt it. You said okay, you had so what for dinner, Susan? Quizzlers and Ritz crackers. All and right. I, you I, have a really good pepper. diet there. I have beef Wellington, so I should be into this stuff. I don't have. Uh, I have that's, crackers that's almost every day for lunch, but that's because they're what come in the lunchables that I eat for lunch. <laughs> Eleven you is me B. Both, man. I I'm just so not into food. Eleven is B. Eleven. Is Eleven is B. B. Yes, it is. Oh yeah, good yeah. call. And it's delicious. Yeah. And I, think it's not, I probably wouldn't eat it even if it was here in front of me. I'm just that bad. Eight, I think, is the sole Munier D. Yeah. Eight is D. Eight I think is so. D. Nine is black, white, and green peppercorns, cognac, shallots, and butter. What the hell has all that pepper in it? Oh, it's steak au poivre, because pepper, right? Yeah. Which one? Which, uh, I? Nine is I. Got it. Well, unless 10, 10 could be. Well, no, it doesn't have olive oil, I don't think. That's probably the, um, oh, there's a Chateaubriand. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'll yes, right. Yeah. So to, uh, 10 is F, right? Is that what we're saying? Yeah. I think so. All right, B, and what's left? We got everything else. Um, do uh, we, we have haven't everything? used A yet. Oh, okay. yeah, we did. I just put it down there and didn't put it up here yet. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, so oh, wait, let's number seven. One. Number, we're missing seven. Oh, we don't have seven. Okay. So well, what are we missing on letters? A. Well, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do this so that we can. Yeah. Yeah. Three is what? C. Yeah. Four is I think, miss, I think we're missing G. Five is E. Six is J. Seven 
is what's the letter that we have left? Hamilton? Which I think would be G because that's the only letter we have left. Yeah, and it makes sense that you could put those things in the paper, the papio with the uh, with salmon. That would probably be that would makes you call it sense. Papio instead of paper. Papio, yeah. That means you've you've put it in parchment paper. Mm-hmm. The way my wife wife likes to make salmon. I hate salmon. All right. Don't eat any fish. Good to everybody. No fish. Don't get Susan started on fish. No fish. Fish. Somebody here likes fish. <clears throat> she doesn't like fish because it's not five letters and you can't play it in Wordle. Well, I'm glad you like fish, Jordan, because I can't stand it. And it's good for you to eat fish because fish is supposed to be. It depends upon the type of fish. I don't like certain types mm -hmm. of fish. Yeah. Don't be like me. Eat fish. Don't be like you and have Twizzlers and crackers for your dinner. <laughs> and Diet Dr. Pepper. Well, you know. Oh, and, oh, and, Dr. and for dessert, milk duds. Oh. <laughs> I love milk duds. Well, oh, aren't they? They're had, like, uh, they're you like had, little bits uh, of Wendy happiness. For dinner. So I, had a, I had a spicy chicken sandwich from Wendy's and uh, cheesy bacon fries. With a diet Dr. Pepper. There you go. You I won't, I won't tell you about my dinner then. No, we don't want to hear it. Because <laughs> it, it would it would fit onto this menu, this oh. uh, menu here. Mm. Mm. Okay, so do you think we got it right? I think we have a pretty good shot. Okay, well I'll wait. What? Yeah. I'll wait to put there's, the, there's, the answers in the uh Ron has a couple cats, two cats, three cats? Three. Three cats three and cats. a dog. And Susan has two cats, Susan, or do you have three? three. Do you have three as well? Three is the magic number, apparently. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Peggy, where's your three dogs? You're supposed to one one dog of her. It, uh, George has got the energy for three dogs right there. For a herd of cats. <laughs> Peggy's dog has a new dog that's uh, six months old. Where are you, oh, dog? Paula says that hers is. Uh, let me. Her screen sharing was off. Let me see. Unfortunately, <laughs> this is this was our fourth cat. No. Yeah, Is are you showing us a box? Oh, oh, I thought it was. A, it looked a little oh. bit like a. It was this. It's his ashes. Oh, it looked a little like you were showing us your free, uh, like a computer screen on your oh. phone. That's oh, yes. <laughs> like, what are you showing me? Oh, you kept the ashes. Oh, yeah. And look at that cute doggy. Um, Which one do I have behind me? Uh, That's no. Leo. Okay. okay Come on, so Wimmy. Daddy, did you guys get it? Everybody's perfect. We, we think we're done. Yes, we're absolutely yeah, perfect. I think you're done too. I think we would fuck this up if we went further. Yes. Yeah. We could talk I ourselves out of half these answers. Yourselves, it could be bad. So I yeah. did the category exactly like she did with a list of ingredients and then the the names of the dishes. But they're all different than what she did, so I can still use it. There you go. By the way, if I want to do one of these things one of these days, who do I bounce it off of to see if this if it if it um you know works? Well, what you will do is you'll just say, Can I do one next week? And then I'll say who isn't going to be here next week? And they'll say, I won't be here. And I'll say, okay, run it by that person. That's how we do it. Okay. And you know the trick of uh, how to get to all the past categories. So you know that there's a, that you're not repeating a category. Not that that's necessarily the end of the world. Because we won't remember any of the answers anyway. Exactly. Even from last week, probably. Well, if I remember, there was even one where all the answers were answers from previous ones, and we missed most of those <laughs> anyways. Yeah, I you tend to do all right on those. Carl has done rounds where it's, you know, previous yeah, previous ones, and it, what's funny is it's typically questions that were the harder ones and that I got them wrong, but because I got them wrong, it stuck in my brain, and then I remember yeah. the correct answer for the second time that it was, that it appeared, which Carl is doing around today. Uh-oh. I think, right? Let's see next. I need Ron, to you know what else is fun is if you have, if you do Zoom with any other friends, like just casually, because I have some friends that occasionally we check in, I'll yeah. just do some 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 categories with them that I, you know, have in the, 
I've been planning to do and they enjoy it and you get a sense of what what people know and like and so you can just kind of do trivia casually with other people well, that's they, sometimes they're irritated <laughs> not often well my brother did that with me when he did a music category back a while ago oh yeah um he passed that one by me uh just to test it out and that's where he kind of got me into the idea of you know well why don't you just join <laughs> he's like i'd like to see my my little brother once yeah, I'm getting rid of my kid. I'm getting rid of my kid. I need a replacement. Uh, are you in an empty nest now? Oh, yeah. Well, no, I'm talking about uh, my brother. Alan's Alan. the empty nest. Because yeah. Alan's got, you know, because oh, yeah. off in Europe now. Oh, that's true. Well, Sarah's in Sacramento. Oh, and she's in Sacramento. Yep. Yeah, Avi's like got extended. He's going to be there even longer now. Another year, I think, isn't it? Yeah. Which is it's good. good. I'm, I'm still working. I'm really glad that he's going to go do something like Where that. Where in Europe is he? He's in Germany right now. Germany? That's what I thought. Okay. Ooh, he's going to the European Skeptic Conference. I'm trying to get my company to send so... me back to Prague so I can go into a side trip over to visit him. Oh, well, that'd be really nice. You know, yeah, they... Prague, I, I was there for a day and a half and I didn't get to see hardly anything because I was just so, so wiped out because we'd spent uh, a weekend. Um, Scandinavia and uh, by the time I got to Prague I thought of, I thought I was going to just I was out I, it's 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 a gorgeous city and, yeah I've been I've been there today. twice through work at this point and it's it's been fabulous I jumped straight and I work with people there which is why I want to get back but I haven't been able to figure out how to convince them to send me there yet so uh Jordan and I were discussing the convention yes so Jordan wants to go. I have to find out if I'll be available due to work. Yes, wouldn't that be wonderful? I don't know. I'm just trying to decide. Is that going to be? Uh... How old are you, Jordan? Thirteen. My son started at fourteen. Okay, so then there's there's uh, a precedent then that Jordan would be too young. If the young. person's a mature-ish kind of person, Jordan will Jordan will enjoy it. Yeah, of course. Why not? You're totally not. And there's mature. lots of magic. No! There's lots of magic, and um, Jordan's already going to know a bunch of people. So uh, I got to decide. It's end of October, right? It's the week before Halloween. Yeah, so that should be okay. I just have major projects going on, and it works. Carl will be there. If, oh, it, Jordan, if things just, Jordan, off, you just go. Up, don't know. don't worry about your dad. Yeah, you just go just come hang out. We'll, yeah, we'll just just send her on her own. Uh, my problem too, though, is Jordan. I feel comfortable with them going with me, but Rachel is too young, and yeah, then it's all, will she be upset because I'm going on a special trip with Jordan and Rachel has to stay home? Yeah, that's a problem. But so I have to see. Eventually, if, if maybe... Rachel will be the one that you're going to travel with because Jordan will be in college and not able. Or... Right. Yeah. Well, it, and then if, I, I don't know if Rachel will see it that way, but if uh, Rachel can do something fun with mom, that those because it's over the it's over a weekend, right? So I would right. We only have to take off maybe a day or two of work the Friday and the Monday surrounding it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, Puff the Magic Dragon is so much fun, and I'm just thinking of just there's so much cool stuff that is it's just fun. Is that Piff, do you mean? Mm -hmm. you mean Piff? Well, the, the the magic dragon, that was Piff, right? Yeah, Piff the magic. Yeah, Piff. Uh, yeah, Piff. okay. So that'll be Psycon in late October. So did, uh, did he go like every year from then on out, or did he just go every so often? Piff? No, uh, uh, Caspian. Sterling? Oh, he's or never Sterling missed one. Sterling or Caspian? It was Sterling. Sterling. He's never missed one. He oh, wow. started. We started at Tam's. When he was 14, and he's never missed one. He's 31. Who's all going so far? Tons of people. So where is this one? Vegas. It's yeah, a that's in Vegas Vico. every year, right? Hmm? I got to see. I guess I can still book a hotel and all that. Oh, yeah, stuff. you can book a hotel, no problem. You'll be able to book a hotel for a long time. And, um, and do they have do they have the kid rate for the convention? I don't know. I'll have to look. I haven't paid for a while, so I don't know. You just have to stay in the hotel room the whole time. You don't want no, to go to the we'll kitchen. break we'll break Jordan out. <clears throat> Sneak out the window, Jordan. Exactly. <laughs> no, you can go. 
It's fun. It is fun. And as long then as you feel like you're party, not going to be bored. And the Halloween party play. is uh, hollow, is uh, um, Hawaiian. Oh, it'd be my birthday then. All right. Oh, really? 29th. Bring your Hawaiian. brother. I hope everybody is nice and hungry. Oh, here comes Richard Saunders. Let him in the door. I, oh, R Richard ooh. Saunders would have done so good in this category. I have to go downstairs and eat. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Here's Richard. Uh, welcome back, everyone. And uh, welcome, uh, Richard Saunders. If you're at home, welcome from down under, as you say. Is. Is Richard, you missed the category that like was made for you. So, um, uh, Richard, we are about to do a culinary uh, category, so you may want to um, play along in the moment as I say the answers, but um, here, for fun, I'm going to put the um, entree options, so if, uh, if Richard wants to uh, guess the entree as I'm naming, in the seconds, I'm naming the uh, She's doing the answers. We're already coming back. The answers. Richard. Yeah. So Richard, I'm going to put the dishes here for fun. And if you just in your own mind or piece of paper want to guess what dish I'm uh, describing, you can play along as I give the answers. Is there all, all, right. things you, all things you would run downstairs to have, but there's no Vegemite. <laughs> no Vegemite. Okay, no okay. shrimp on the bobby. None, none of it is musk flavored. So the, uh, the category, let me pull up my Word document. So again, the category was um, uh, Ju uh, Julia and Jacques cooking at home, which is based on this recipe, the recipes in this book, cooking at home. And the book was based on a 1999 um, uh, public television show that had uh, Julia Child and Jacques Pepin. So I gave a list of 12 ingredients, a list of 12 dishes, and the idea was to match one to the other for a maximum of 12 points. Okay, so uh, 10, 10 points. 10, 10, thank you. Okay, so the first one, uh, the ingredients were mignonette sauce and lemon wedges, and I did send you a message, I know, typo with the too many ends in that but that is in fact the way they spelled it in this book uh and the answer to one is l oysters on the half shell and the mignonette sauce is uh red wine a little black pepper and uh that goes to and not everybody does their oysters that way but that is a common way and there was only one that matched in each category so one is l oysters on the half shell so number two the description of the ingredients in number two was horseradish, horseradish cocktail sauce specifically, and lemon wedges. And I would hope that a lot of you got this right. It is a very um, popular dish, which is K, shrimp cocktail. And in their book, they actually uh, marinate the, um, uh, the shrimp in a sauce, so, but I didn't throw it in because that I thought would be confusing. So. Um, that is uh, two is K, shrimp cocktail. Now, number three had you guys going. I heard some good discussion about that. Black peppercorns, call fat, cognac, and pork shoulder. Call, flat, call fat, some of you knew what that was, but for others, I think Romero knew what call fat was or someone in Romero's room. But uh, call fat is a layer of fat that looks kind of like a net that is around internal organs in mammals. And so they use that for the outside of the casing when they are shaping a country pate, a pate, okay? They're also, as I said, all of the proteins are not listed uh, in the description. It's not a complete list of ingredients, just enough to get you thinking. In that recipe, there are also chicken livers, but I, I didn't list that. And uh, there's also nuts. Uh, don't don't go ooh gross because it's super yummy. <laughs> <laughs> that was C. Monday or what? That was C. Yes, three is C. Thank you very much, uh, Jeanette. C three is C. Country pate. And um, there we go. Okay, four. Four was Gruyere. You got to know what Gruyere is. Baguette. Got to know what that is. Thyme sprigs. 
chicken stock and white wine is optional in this. And probably, you know, you got this right. If any of you have had what's called, sometimes called French onion soup, official name is H, onion soup gratiné, a delicious onion soup in a rich stock. They take a baguette with a piece of cheese on top and melt it. It's delicious. Onion soup gratiné. Yes? I was, I was saying, yeah, we, we got it, but usually I, onion soup is usually a beef stock. So it That's what I food. thought, too, yeah. That's well, yeah, but the, you still got it. Yeah, but the, the baguette, you needed to, to make, you slice the baguette baguette into croutons a little you are slice. you are correct so it had and, to be it yeah. and bob bob is correct that many message uh, many recipes do have it with a dark stock however yeah. if you, a clue was given in the description and what was that they hosted a program on public tv that showed viewers how to prepare various dishes with with each of their own styles and special touches <laughs> right so no, we got it but it just threw me but the yeah, baguette, the meat it had to be it because of the baguette. Yes, I used to, I used to make that for my nieces and nephews, but they would only eat it if I used Wonder Bread and American cheese. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, okay. So um, number five, the description for five was hollandaise sauce or just hollandaise, uh, ham or prosciutto, and thin slices of black truffle and that is of course optional because many of us have had this dish before which is e eggs benedict okay so then we go to number six number six uh, again not all the ingredients were listed this threw you off a little bit one large egg and that is a raw egg garlic black pepper olive oil a whole lemon and parmigiano reggiano now, what is Parmigiano Reggiano? It is the official region of the best Parmesan cheese in the world. And so a lot of you got this. Six is J, the Caesar salad. The Caesar salad. Um, you know, you can mash other things in there. Some people use Worcestershire sauce, some mash up uh, anchovies, uh, mm, croutons, okay. homemade croutons, but it is a C and romaine lettuce. That's a, that's a uh, Caesar salad. Okay. So moving on to seven, seven was a, I deliberately threw a couple in there to get you talking and you were, you, you figured it out. I heard people figure it out. Number seven was white pepper, butter, shallots, diced tomato, and a whole flat leaf parsley. parsley. Now here's a little thing for those of you that maybe don't care about cooking or maybe will think, oh, never thought about that. Why do you use white pepper? It's an aesthetic thing. You put white pepper on things that have a light meat or a light color when you don't want the specks of pepper to show so much and detract from the aesthetic beauty of the dish. And yeah. it is number seven. Yeah, you knew that. Great. Seven is G, salmon and papillot. And what is that? That is salmon in paper. They literally, yes, Terry knew that. Great. You it's wrap it up like and Bob knew too. You put it in paper. No. You lay these things, and and so when you you and you steam it, right? It's not it's not poached, it's not baked. It's kind of steamed in the little pouch. And when you open it up, you have this beautiful with the whole leaf parsley and this tender salmon, and the flavors are great. And you can make this yourself. It almost threw me there. I thought you were going to say soul because salmon is not white. Yeah, but the but the but yeah, the, I got the, it though. Yeah, you, you don't want it aesthetically. Yeah. Okay, light. Okay, so there, it was designed to throw you off, like Kevin was saying. So what's going on with number eight? Number eight is parsley again, butter, <gasps> capers, capers, lemon juice, and flour. Again, the flour is a hint if you figured it out because yep. it's uh, so D. Eight is D. Sol manure. Uh, and, you. Then you, and what it is is you actually put a little flour on the fish. And so when you cook it, it gets like a little crust on it or a little caramelization. Uh, there is a science to it. Those of you who don't think you're cooks, but you're science-minded, you might enjoy cooking. Okay, so number nine. You know, number, you know, on, yeah. Out later. Later, that's what? okay. Wait. Go ahead, go ahead. No, I don't want to. Okay, it's okay. All right, number nine, white green black white and green peppercorns Pe 
pepper is not just black. You know, the little little pepper balls. It, black, white, and green pepper, cognac, shallots, and butter. Very similar to, to one of the other dishes. But why is, what's the hint here? For those of you that know French, poivre means pepper. Poivre, thank you, means uh, pepper. So it's nine is I, steak au poivre. We got that because I asked my wife. We went out for our anniversary to a fancy French restaurant uh, on Monday. And that was one of the things on the menu. We had to ask what that meant. And my wife cannot eat pepper. So we found out that that's steak with peppers. There you go. I, I found out by watching an episode of Archer. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. It is pepper, pepper, and more pepper. And you want it really crusty, like big chunks of it, so that you're actually crunching the pepper as you um, eat it. Okay, now there was a little mix up. I put two right next to one another, uh, three actually. They're all beef items. So number, uh, number 10 said a 20 ounce beef tenderloin, salt, pepper, and olive oil. That is the one dish, I should have done a bonus, but we already have 12, which, which is one of these has all of the ingredients of the dish. Number 10 has all of the ingredients of the dish. And what is the dish? It is F, Chateaubriand. Yeah. That's it. A big old honk and chunk of high quality beef. And, uh, and then you slice it up. You let it rest. And so all the juices stay in the meat and you slice it. And, and that, that had all of the ingredients. So just pat yourself on the back if you recognize that that had the whole recipe. Now, number 11 sounds like a whole recipe, but it was not. Believe it or not, there's even more ingredients than listed in 11. 11 says a boneless beef chuck roast, onions, carrots, thyme, bay leaf, garlic, tomatoes, mushrooms, beef stock, and red wine. And Cindy, Cindy picked up on this when, uh, when she was guessing what that second word is. 11 is beef, buff, bourguignon. Bourguignon mm -hmm. means in the style of Burgundy. So Cindy was right when she guessed that. Good word. Burgundy wine. So yep. it's the traditional mm -hmm. recipe, but you can use any red wine. Buff bourguignon, it's, which is like a stew. And then Bob I'm got it. I guess the last one is A. Yeah, because Bob <laughs> guessed it. Bob guessed it because it had, um, he knew that it had mushrooms in it. Okay, so number yeah. 12. Number 12 has red onion, olives, small tomatoes, green beans, eggs, cooked eggs, leafy greens, anchovies, and tuna. You don't always see anchovies in this arranged dish, which is salad niçoise. That is A, that is in the style of Nice, the south of France. Okay, so those are the answers. And, be, and I also want to tell you, do not be put off by this because I'm telling you guys, you can have healthier food that's totally delicious. I'm going to give you a link that is season one, episode one on YouTube. It's uh, that first episode is all about beef. It covers steak Diane, bistro steak, steak au pav, poivre, Chateaubriand, and hamburger deluxe. Okay, so watch the YouTube video. It's only 24 minutes and you can view the whole charming and informative educational series on Roku channel. Yubi, Pluto TV, and Prime. It's Jacques, Julia, and Jacques cooking at home. Bon appétit. Okay. The, the company I work for did some of the kitchen work for uh, her, her studio recreation, uh, recreation of her uh, kitchen. Oh. It's pretty cool. And then recently we did some diner panels that's going to be in one of the Marvel movies they're, they're filming in Boston. That's wonderful. Mm -hmm. It was all filmed in Cambridge uh, at a home and you can do this at home. So I want everyone to come back next week having watched one of those and cooked something at home. Now it's time for scores. This wasn't the episode with Dan Aykroyd? No. <laughs> That's what we showed that one last time. Right. <laughs> scores, right. please. Let's go to score, score, scores. It's very good, Karen. Um, Excellent category. I think we have a lot of good scores on this one. Yeah. Probably. And whoever recommended the HBO TV series, Julia, excellent recommendation. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, it was my good. wife got me hooked on that one. All I right. watched it with my sister and brother-in-law. Okay, so Monkey Pox there's, Immune. There's also a PBS series called The French Chef that I think has something to do with Julia Child. <laughs> 
I, I put a recipe for peppercorn roast in the chat. Boy, I, mm. I was really surprised that uh, you guys are so interested in food cooking, Julia Child. Mm -hmm. Almost yes. as much as you guys were in Alex uh, Jones. So now she was also a World War II spy. Well, the, that I would find very interesting. I'd like to see that. So monkeypox immune. Uh, we only get the 10 points, even though we got we got all 12. Well wow. done, monkey pox. Yeah. <laughs> right. That's I wanted, and I wanted, and by the way, as you're talking about Julia Child recipes, I don't know that book, but in her original book on French cooking, um, she has the best recipe that's ever been for Hollandaise sauce that will never fail. Everybody has trouble with the, the beginner with cooking Hollandaise and having it not break. And her wonderful recipe Gail. is a blender. Okay. All right, okay, so we got a talk, team name. Before we move on, I do want to comment a uh, monkeypox immune and your definition of why you're calling yourself that. I want to say that you are rebranding the term OK Boomers. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> hold, on. hold on a second. I, I, we have been visited. A special guest is Look, here. I have a Martin. special guest, too. How is everybody? Oh, look, and Rachel's there, too. Hello. Hey, Mark. And Rachel Hi. made this. Just now. Oh, very pretty. Nice. Yay. Good job. Oh, wow. That's nice. What is it? I can't see. Beautiful, it. Rachel. It's a little screen over here. Oh. A little flower. It looked much bigger when you hey. held it up to the camera. Oh, yeah. There oh, yeah. There, look. Yeah. Yeah, it's, that's it's, pretty. It's pretty tiny. So she did a lot of good detail for how tiny it is because there's my hand. Really pretty. Very cute. Oh, that's really We just did a category. Karen just did a category on oh, okay. Julia Child and recipes <laughs> and Jacques Pepin. Nice. Mark, yeah, Mark, 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 I was interviewed by uh, a journalist from the UK today making a documentary, and they said they interviewed you, Sophie Woods. You remember how long ago was that? And she was talking about uh, oh, psychic detectives and, and you know, and Bob Niger. Yeah, there. I just had a quick co phone call with her. I didn't have an interview. He told him. Well, we talked. He money. We talked. Longer. I told. I. I. They, you know, to me, it was another one of these calls we get, and I just am like, you know. Anyway, I, I was, did she say I was rude to her? No, not at all. She just said, yeah, she no, I just, I brain. just, I just kind of drew the line and said, look, you know, if you want to get information for me for a TV show, you know, let's, let's talk, uh, real, re the real deal. And she was like, oh, we're not ready to do that. And I said, well, when you're ready, let me know. Yeah, I, they might get back. It, it sounds, she described it. I was, I was asking more questions than she was asking me, but I wanted to find it. They're really early in the production decision. May not happen, of course, but yeah. Yeah, I mean, sometimes we talk to somebody and they don't know who Randy is. <laughs> it's kind of I like, kind of like, you're done. I don't know, but I'm willing to help if yeah. if the cause is right, you know? Yeah. She, she knew about your 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 uh, your Good sting point. of Thomas John. She talked all about that. She, she used your name and Susan's. So right. She, she didn't talk to me. I haven't talked to her. Yeah. Well, we've, we've been through this so many times with these documents. Yeah, I understand. Like, just kind of like, oh, whatever. Wait, yeah, get, when it, when I, when it's a when reporter. It comes down to real, real money and earnest money. Well, a reporter they, I want to talk to, but documentary people, they just, I don't know, they just, they, they say, well, we're we're doing this for news, so nobody's getting paid. And I say to them, you're getting paid right now. <laughs> you, you don't like documentary people, Susan? No, they contact like, me all the like time. Like that Brian Dunning guy? Well, no, no, that's totally different. I trust that. But no, not these other ones. They just, they're they, all they, fishing. I know what you mean. Randy is, we don't. They've done all this work thoughts, investigating then. the psychic world. And oh my gosh, the harm and psychics, whatever. But they don't know who James Randy is. And they're like. By the way, she says to me, Sophie, she says, uh, can you get me in touch with, who was it? Uh, Bob Nygar. Can you get me Bob Nygar? Everybody wants number? Bob I'm Nygar. Like, no, I can't get you. Did Bob. you give it to him, Bob? Rob? Well, she has his contact. It, it's like he said he's too busy to talk to her right now, which I said he probably is. <laughs> he's, he's That's so what busy. I should say, even though I'm not. But, you know, we, we, we <laughs> hope that eventually something will come along where everyone will kind of understand how yeah. much work is involved? Because they just think we're just like goofing off or something. And you know, Rob, how much work goes into a good sting. So yeah. anyway, back to work, you guys. Thank you, sweetie. See you Take later. care. Bye, Bye. Bye. We had a team. We had a team name, but someone erased the tape. Um, we got twelve out of twelve or ten, or 10. I guess. All Please. right, may your yeah. have yeah. Alex Jones as a lawyer. We also got twelve. Susan, what <laughs> their team name is? Oh, 
<laughs> the team name. Our lawyer sent all our answers to the other teams in the chat. We also got a perfect score. And yeah. the frogs are suing Alex Jones next. Ten. Yay! Oh, yeah. Karen, your category no was cooking. too easy. We That's really okay. Food. I want to inspire people to to watch that series and try and cook one thing. If only the oh. hamburger deluxe. You'll save, it'll be more healthy. You'll save money. It's very creative and fun. So please cook for yourself. Okay. I think I'm going to take a break now and go get some more Twizzlers. Uh, and I'm low on milk duds. <laughs> Five minutes. Oh, wait, picture first. Picture first. Everybody stay here. Oh, Caspian left. Too late. Oh, oh, he's, he's, oh, he's back. He's only there for the second. We can't see Caspian for long. Okay, let me get to the screen. All right, ready? One, two, three. Wait, one, two, three. I think we did it. Let's see if we got that right. Got it, got it. We're done, okay. Yeah, I've got that. I mean, I just gotta make sure I've saved it before I Bye, I'm just trying to screen right. uh, Bye, everybody. Nice. Bye, Vincent. Bye, Vincent. Bye, Vincent. Oh, the next category is Alberta Calgary. Yeah. Uh -huh. Sorry, I can't. I can't stay up anymore. Okay. Songs about Vincent is the next okay. category. So, yeah. Vincent. Hi, Vincent. That, Are we recording? That would be a horrible category, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> so, I did Carl with a K. Richard, and did you and did, did you go see Thor yet? Yes. And? I'm in it. Uh, <laughs> I, if, if we want to if we want to show the crowd and people don't mind a minor spoiler, I, I have a screenshot of what I believe is you. Really? Yeah. Ooh, that'd be fun. All right. Ready? Hold on. Let me share. Hi, brother. I'd be surprised because you blinked and you missed it. I know that's more than you needed, but <laughs> I had my reasons for getting it. All right. Can you guys see that? So That's me. Give it away. Yeah, right there. Take it home and give it to neighbors. How, how on earth There's did a minimum you get that? Amount That's you great. Uh, we we cannot discuss how I came across this. Uh, I, mean, I saw it in the theater, but I was like, it's it's kind of hard because it's so quick. But, Richard, really? Uh, a, a buddy, a buddy of Carl and mine uh, mm -hmm. may have procured something for us. So I think a screen there's, grab. there's a similar scene shortly before that one there are two where they flash to me and i think one of them i'm, I'm more in it than that one i'm not sure because it's it's so quick but yeah that that's me how about that I'm, well richard you better get it then send him a send him a copy of this send, send me a copy i'd love to oh sure i can do that so that has so okay richard are those great are, did they just tell four you guys months, laugh? four months of growing a beard did wow. they tell uh, you that, everybody laugh they told us everybody do lots of things. We were there for hours. Oh my is, gosh. Are the grapes edible? <laughs> <coughs> no. <laughs> grapes. So yeah, the quality isn't that great because it's a it's a grab from yeah, yeah. The movie theater. So that's why well, that's better than no, I, I understand. That's 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 the only that's the only thing still I've got. I don't even remember holding a fan. I guess <laughs> because it's such a, a long day and we did is so many things. Is it a fan? I thought it was a plate. Yeah, a no, thing. I guess it's a fan because hey, there's there another go. guy has a <laughs> There. You could, to, to really point him it's out. It's even worse. There is point. another, I'm sure there's another scene where I'm more, but I've got to feel for, sorry that for some of the really guys. That's a really good picture. Is some of the other be, guys because. You think they, before you know, this one or after, Richard? <sighs> there are two can... scenes. There are two scenes with me. There's a similar sort of angle and okay. they're not there's some you just have to look for it. All right, mm -hmm. I'll see if I can find the other. Thank spot. you. Take a screen grab. This so team, there you go. People are just amazing. The things you guys can do. Awesome. Thank you. Whoa. Right, let me go switch out laundry. Oh, okay. that was a hot a hot day in Sydney, and when we left the 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 studio, we were filming to walk across from one part of the complex to the other, we had to wear sheets, bed sheets, in case people with long range photography were trying to, you know, f photograph. Oh no, how was, funny, yeah, really? Was, so you yeah, guys are getting yeah. behind the scenes now on the new and movie. I'm wearing, or... I'm wearing um, sandals. 
new nice new sandals but unfortunately all the walking we did from set to back to lunch and everything i developed huge blisters and they had to put Ooh. these big band-aids on my feet Ooh. wow and one of the scenes they didn't use is where we're all crushed to death so that's all right oh, what really yeah <laughs> how do you crush how do you do that everybody lay on the ground and look we yeah. had to pretend to be to be we had to pretend that you know the building was collapsing on us oh, oh. And they said look up look up what's that over there and there was a big pole and on the end was, was a little cardboard cut out of russell crowe's face I said, look at that <laughs> really yeah wow behind the scenes here good stuff do you get credit in the uh, in the credits for being no. in there well, look, I haven't read the credits, but it's, it, I, I would sincerely doubt it. He's done other TV stuff, you guys. This isn't his first rodeo, you know. He had a TV show for a while. Two I seasons. did. Mm. How do you do you've got, the, no. you've got them on your computer. <laughs> the one. Yeah, you have, you have yeah. them. Has a Wikipedia page. Susan's got quite a few of my skeptical files. In fact, Susan, I just sent the whole shooting match to Kenny Biddle. I'm glad you did because California might fall into the ocean or something and then Richard, I just sent that to you in Facebook Messenger. Great. Thank you. Is it yeah. give away anything to have that picture? No. I mean I don't know the story. Does it give anything? No. Away? No, there's no plot plot giveaways in there. Looks like I'm having a good time though. I'm very jolly. Everybody looks like they're having a great time. Even great, thank you. Thanks for Did that. Did anyone go see Bullet Train? No, I saw it's been advertised a lot. I don't know what it is. What is it? So it's it's uh, it's, uh, it's one of those uh, hitman movies where you get a bunch of hitmen together and they all try and kill each other. Brad Pitt is in it. One of, one of those movies that features more hitmen than exist on the entire planet in reality. <laughs> Pretty much. For, for a job that may not really even exist as it's depicted in movies, Joey, Joey lots the, and lots of hitman movies. Joey, yeah. the hit, Joey the hitman. Mostly it's, they're about to, they're, they, they've retired, they've gone, they just want to be left alone, and they get drawn back in for some reason and then have to kill everyone. So it's the Hunger Games for hitmen? <laughs> Kind of. Did you ever? Did you ever watch the? Was it the uh, Snyder? What a Tom Snyder show when he interviewed uh, um, um, Joey the Hitman? And you guys remember that? I vaguely remember hearing something about that. But guy comes on. He 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 had he had written a book or something like that. He had turned state witness or whatever. He had he had killed. He confessed to having killed in the line of his work. Uh, 35, I think 35 people. But he said he would never kill somebody in their home because that was their castle. The second they wa walked out, he'd do that. And he said he would walk into a, he would walk into a, um, a, a crowded restaurant at lunchtime. He'd walk up to his target. He'd walk in there. He'd shoot the guy. And he would, he said he would walk out. And, 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 and Tom asked him, he says, does anybody do anything? He said, no, they're, they're all, they're heading for the floor. And he would just walk out. And, um, but he was they, wearing. He, a, was the, was the gun hidden for him behind the toilet? <laughs> like, <laughs> the toilet? He I know that the, reference. And he 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 was wearing a like a a, a, a stocking over his face to, to hide his identity. I guess is you know he's in a witness protection thing, and and uh, <laughs> the, the Snyder asked. He says, "If I reached over and pulled that mask off of your face, what would you do?" And he just looked at him with a straight face. And said, I'd cut your heart out. And that was, you have, you have to look for that. That is absolutely an interview. It's worth, worth seeing. Joey the Hitman. And he even filed taxes. He just filed his taxes under salesman. And uh, so for the, for the money he made on that. Smart thing to do. That's how they got Capone is from not paying taxes. Yeah. Okay, so we're back. Wake up, everybody. Hello, everybody, come back now. So
So we have any announcements. The one I have is that Rob Palmer interviewed me for PsyCon and it was a good interview because I cut out some of the parts of it that I thought were really kind of fun. But so Joe, for the yeah, backstory, but... it was an hour and a half long and Barry wanted them to be 20 minutes. So yeah, I had to cut a little bit out. Well, he told you 20 minutes after yeah. he had already recorded the hour yeah. and a half. So I put the link up to that. Um, we're going to be in Eugene and then we're going to be in Seattle. I think I've announced that enough times. Um, anything else that I need to know about? Richard. Oh, uh, there's uh, Richard Saunders came here. Yeah, Richard. Besides being on, I don't know if he has any time to talk now that he's been on. He's a celebrity. So, on a movie star. <laughs> I got a question for Alan. Uh, did the hitman uh, uh, try and uh, declare his expenses for buying bullets? Uh, well, apparently. Apparently, whatever it is, he 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 was he was a family man, and he uh, and he just filed his taxes. And all he did is he didn't he just uh, whatever he did he 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 filed under salesman. So traveling expenses and all that kind of stuff. Eh? Uh, probably. <laughs> wow. Okay. Go ahead, Richard. What? <coughs> What's on your podcast? Oh, 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 Adrian knows. Where's Adrian? Adrian, Adrian. I gave her the the, uh, the script this week and she's not here. She was just here a ago. She's probably on her break. So. She's muted. Adrian. Hey. Oh, dear. All right. Hang on. I'll tell you. We That's a pity. <laughs> uh, where is it sorry I, now I have to look because I wasn't prepared because I, I gave it to Adrian before because I thought I'd be too busy yeah. no Adrian alright coming up on this week on the Skeptic Zone podcast I interview Ben Radford about his new book America the Fearful That's Tim okay. Mendham continues his look at perpetual motion through history we have another skeptical poem from my, fr my late friend Jim Wilshire all about a ghost and Trove looks at the day Adelaide, the city of Adelaide, was not destroyed by an earthquake. All that and more on the Skeptic Zone podcast. I'm losing isn't my that, voice a it, little bit. Isn't that every day, Richard, that it wasn't destroyed by an earthquake? What specific every day. day are we talking about? We're talking about the 19th, I think the 19th of January, 1976, when a mystic seer and astrologer said there was a tsunami coming and people ah. panicked. Mm. And in the coming weeks, I'm doing a segment about Ray Hyman and the Midder Middle Lights, not the mid, uh, the Min Min Lights. The what? Ah. The, the oh, Min Min Lights. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that's an Australian thing, right? Yeah. It's a great time to do one about Ray Hyman. Yeah, it's good. It's a great his time. Cast. It's his birthday, and mm. and we have the big event for him. Richard did some, you, you, your friend who died, you don't mention yeah. how old he was when he died. I don't know if this so, is, uh, no, yeah, he wasn't 70, a young man. No, 71. He, he, um, he left us too soon. He could have, he had some more years in him. Uh, I won't go into to details. It wasn't, it was an unfortunate s circumstance, but yeah, he left us too Was early. it sudden or was it everybody knew? Well, let's say it's unexpected. Okay. Oh, okay. Very sad. Yes. Yes, he, right. we, we had great fun, Jim and I, and he taught me a lot. Yeah, I was I was listening to your interview, mm. or the poetry and stuff. It's very sad. But it's nice that you're, you um, remembered him like that. Yeah. So, all right. Are we back? I, I feel like I'm back. So I guess, I guess you guys are all back. I didn't really go anywhere. But um, our next category. Oh, I need to pull up the darn thing. I've got too many things moving around here. It's Kevin, right? Yep. And Kevin's on the screen. So, oh, there you are. Yep. That's right. Make it's mystery category. I would never have guessed that. I like them. Answer the questions, fill in the blanks. You, you went mute, Kevin. What happened? Yep. Question number one, what is the 
you gotta find the chat again. Six studio album released in 1979 by ACDC. We may have had this question before. It was the last one featuring lead singer Bon Scott. Pick from one of these below listed in alphabetical order. So the answer's right there underneath, but you don't know which one, maybe you do. I don't, I do now. Question number two. What company needed to formalize that hunger we supposedly get between dinner and breakfast and called it the fourth meal? Number three is a photo. So I will share it with you. Which one of these items fits the theme? One, two, three, or four. Are we going to get a link to this? No. Take a screenshot. I don't, I don't know how to do that. Put it up on Google Docs or Google Photos or something like that and make it shareable. So one of these fits the theme. So we don't know what Yeah. So yet. take a screenshot. If somebody can figure out how to do that and share it, that'd be great. Okay. Okay. Can I move on? Yeah. Fill in the blanks. Number four and five. Oh Lord, won't you buy me a blank blank? My friends all have Porsches. I must make amends. Number five, blank Horatio Magellan blank. Number six. Fill in the missing lyrics. They have the same lyric repeated at the beginning and the end and throughout the song. The song is called The River of Dreams, but the words are not those. The words are what I have underlined. And it is a Billy Joel song. Oh, no. We may have had this next question before, but I liked it and it fits my theme. Blank, blank on the wall, who's the fairest one of all? Be specific. It must be spelled correctly, both words. Two words are blanked out in the following. All you need to know about blank, blank, the 12 best blank blanks you should consider buying. And then they list all these blanks. So it's only two words, and one of them is repeated several times. I just need to know the two words that are missing. Number nine, name the 1967 British television series about an unnamed British intelligence agent who was abducted, imprisoned in a mysterious coastal village where his captives designate him as number six. And number 10, what band was named after a steam-powered dildo mentioned in the William S. Burroughs novel, Naked Lunch? And that's it. There is a theme. Not all the words that are blanks will be in the theme, but at least one will be in the theme. So if there's two words, one will be part of the theme, maybe not both. Got it. Okay, good job. That's it. Send us off. I don't know if I can do that. If you can't, Gail can do it. You're going to fling me to a room, Susan? I can't do it. There we Gail's go. got it. Let me get these unassigned people over there and I'll be in my room. We have the technology. We have the technology. <laughs> Caspi and I both know the same answer to the question. <laughs> um, so, Deborah, you are in one. And Richard Saunders, oh, I'm putting you in one also. Oh, all right. I've added the uh, uh, the picture. Uh, oh, do you? Chat. 
Okay, so it's in the chat? Yeah, it's you, all you have to do, I, it seems like, is just change it to a PDF. So see if you can see oh, no, it. Won't Let open. me know. It won't open. Mm -hmm. Well, why did it even put it there? <laughs> <laughs> it won't open. No, it won't open. Oh, yeah, it opens for me. Yeah, because it's, uh, yeah, it won't open. Nope. That's all right. We'll live with it. Thank you. I'll show him how to do it here sometime so he can do, he can get up there. Okay, get your room. They're, they're waiting for you. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Hi, team. Hey. Hi. Okay, so. Where's Peggy? I'm over hey. here. Do you guys see that? I see, I see it started screen sharing. I don't see Peggy. For some reason tonight, I can't. You said something. Is Peggy here? No, where's Peggy? Peggy's, Peggy's not in our group. Not Peggy. Cindy's right Wendy. here. Wendy. Where's yeah. Wendy? When, yeah, Wendy. I'm good. sorry, Wendy. Why <laughs> did I say Peggy? That's crazy. So um, I'm just. I don't see Wendy. I need to. She must be gone. I don't see her. Or she got kicked off or something, but she didn't say anything to me. Yeah. Okay. Could She might show up in a few minutes. I don't know. When did you see her last? A couple minutes. She <laughs> looks at. Janine looks out her window. No, no, no. I'm looking at how dark it is. I need to run close up my chickens real fast. Okay. All right. I'm not okay. going to be much help. So Mike's getting it up on the screen, I think. I can't, for some reason, I can't share my screen. Okay. Somebody else told me that problem too. Okay. Who can share? Nope. Okay. All participants. Yeah. You should be able to do it now. I changed the setting in last round. Yeah. One time we <coughs> had it, we couldn't share, but it, this is something with Mike's computer. Well, do you want me to? You want me no, to? It see? goes. It should work. That's what we see. Are you seeing it? I turned it, it says, on. Has started screen share. Nope. We just see. We just see the black screen. Same as before. It must be you, Mike. It's Mike. Because there's something with you. Do you need it? Do we need it? Well, you don't have to. I don't think. Okay. So let's see. All right, what is the sixth studio album released in 1979 by ACDC? Okay, guys, I will be right back. Highway to Hell? Well, it could, I mean, all of those are ACDC albums. I think Highway to Hell was earlier. I think it might be for those about to... The last... I don't know, I think once we get the theme, time. we'll be able to figure it out. Okay, what company needed to formalize that hunger we supposedly get between dinner and breakfast and call it the fourth meal? I think that's Taco Bell. It could be. I've never heard of that, but <clears throat> it was an ad campaign. Okay, and we don't know about number three because we don't know the theme yet. Number four is a Mercedes Benz. Yeah. Okay, five. I think that might be Captain Crunch. The Captain Crunch's full name is Captain Horatio Magellan Crunch. Yeah. Really. So you got a better theme, answer? So is the theme cereals or something? What do you think, Cindy? I have no idea. Number six. In the middle of the night, I go walking in my sleep in through the, the jungle of doubt to a river so deep. Yep. I know I'm searching for something, something so undefined that it can only be seen. By the eyes of the blind yeah. in the middle of the night. Okay, so and, in the middle of the night. Kevin always puts the same number of spaces as there are letters, and I think those match. Yeah, well, the third word middle sure seems to fit. Okay, very good. Blink mirror mirror on the wall, who's the fairest one of all? Yeah. Why do you say we had to spell it correct and be very specific about spelling if it's just the word mirror? Let's see how many let's see how many spaces he has there in a second. Is it? Um, well, no. 
He has five letters and six letters. So maybe it's not mirror, mirror. Maybe it's on like special mirror on the wall or favorite mirror or magic mirror on the wall. You said it's five spaces for the first one? Yeah, maybe it's magic it's mirror. All right, eight, I don't know. What's the question on eight? Because I can't There's get- two words blanked out. You can't see, see it. I'm gonna figure mm -hmm. out how many, what the letters are. Below are two words blanked out. All you need to know about blank blank. Or Don Perine Rose blank blank. Just... Or no, that's only one blank, huh? Has a lot to do with wines. <coughs> it's four right. letters and then nine letters. All you need to know about blank blank. 12 best blanks you should consider buying. It's, and then it has a whole bunch of blanks. Some of them are little, some of the later ones are nine. All right, let's put a spin in that. Okay, number nine. Speaking of nine, prisoner. number nine is the prisoner. Yeah. And okay. number 10, anyone else know number 10? Oh, what what's band, the question? Oh, what band was named after a steam powered dildo mentioned in the William S. Burroughs novel Naked Lunch? A friend of mine, her brother was like the Pete Best of this band out on Long Island in, I guess, the 80s. That would be Steely Dan. Oh, I've heard of them. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. I think I have heard the Steely Dan was named after a dildo. Okay. So here's here's, <coughs> here's the words we've got. We got to come up with a mystery. I don't think Cindy's ever done a mystery. Kevin does these all the time. So, what did these have in common? Now I'm. Mercedes Benz, it could be Mercedes, or it could be Benz, or it could be Mercedes Benz. So what do these have in common? So Mercedes Benz, Captain Crunch, In the Middle of the Night, Magic Mirror, The Prisoner, and Steely Dan. Could be like Mercedes, Captain, Middle, Magic, Prisoner, and Dan. It could be, or some sort of thing like that. Well, I'm gonna go <coughs> magic Mercedes Crunch Middle Mirror Prisoner Steely. Sometimes it just jumps out at you. Ben's Ben's Crunch. Um, well, that lava lamp, can you see that lava lamp on there, Cindy? No. As up there, the lava lamp is from the prisoner. I, mean, I can't see the questions. Oh, you can't? If, if oh, I put it, the, the picture. Yeah, do you okay, see it on but, Kevin's screen right now? Yeah. So one of those fits this theme. And the lava lamp fits the prisoner. Well, there's, is that a Aladdin's lamp at the bottom? Yeah, it sure is. And what's this lamp with a star? It looks like it's a pacifier or something. I don't know. Someone have the picture of the four lamps? Kevin's got it on the screen right now. I'll make it smaller. It's 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 not showing the whole thing. No, it's, it's like a Tiffany lamp, a lava yeah. lamp, Aladdin's lamp, and I don't know what that other one is. What is Aladdin's lamp? Love lamp. That's the Luxor lamp. Luxo. Luxo Jr. from Pixar. And it's a Number Tiffany three? lamp, I think. So they're all lamps. Oh, could it be? Oh, no, this is so. Could it be Aladdin? No. Because he's a prisoner in the, in the little globe thing. And maybe somebody named Dan. Um, 
uh, in the middle of the night have anything to do with Aladdin? No. Mercedes or light. Um, magic mirror. Fairy tale. Yeah. The night kitchen. The book. I think it was. Think of a song that has those. Might have those words in the lyrics. Yeah, it does a lot of songs. Like he takes Bohemian Rhapsody or American Pie or something like that, and he makes it into a mystery category. So a song. Mercedes Benz, Captain Crunch, in the middle of the night, Magic Mirror, The Prisoner, and Steely Dan, and one of those items on that picture. Item my life. <laughs> um, light up my life. What do I got to do with Mercedes? <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, that could be a fantasy. Janine, hurry up and get back here. <laughs> this chicken must be hard to down. Yeah, she's going to go lock them up. I'm usually pretty good at these things. Mm. Go, go wander around, Kevin. We'll, we'll, we. We'll figure it out. Thanks for coming by. Well, the one, the prisoner for number nine, it's obviously the word prisoner is the yeah. clue. It's not the word the. So that's that's the only one we know for sure. So prisoner. Um, we're, I'm 99% sure on 10 and 5 But is it the Steely four. part or the Dan part? That's what I mean. <coughs> that's the trouble. So prisoner for sure. We know that's that's the clue. Like magic mirror. Could be magic or could be mirror or it could be both. In the middle of the night? I don't know unless it's probably the word middle. Yeah, yeah. it'd be kind of bullshit if he's like Yes, and th this song has the word of in the third. Yeah, session. I don't think he would do that. So it's probably Either middle or night. Prisoner and middle are definitely the part of whatever this theme is. Prisoner, middle, crunch. So do you have them all? No. Somebody um, keeping got a score? solid seven. So what are your We're answers? The theme. We're trying to get the theme now. Oh, you don't what, have what do you think? Oh, maybe eight she knows eight. It's a four-letter yeah. word and a nine-letter word. It's a nine-letter word associated with wine. Those are all like champagne. Oh, what, what is that? Wait a second. Is champagne nine letters? I'm trying to think of the um, last word for that. Rosé. Something, something Rosé. Chavanon? Something like that. No idea. I mean, it's just a but they always say commercials when they're trying to advertise this, when they're advertising this wine. Um, Mike, on question two, you're pretty sure Champagne that it's Taco Bell. Letters. What? Do you, are you pretty sure it's Taco Bell on number two? What company did sure, it formalize that? I'm pretty sure it's a fast food place. And I'm pretty sure it's Taco Bell. Okay, so. But it could be, I mean, it could be like something like Burger King or. Oh, well, that's not helping. If it's Burger King and Captain Crunch might go to I think it's Taco Bell. Okay, Taco Bell. So what do you have for one? One, we don't have anything. We were okay. hoping that we would get the theme. And well, what is number one? What again? is the sixth studio album released in 1979 by ACDC? Oh, right. What's number what four? About. Number four is, oh, Lord, won't you buy me a Mercedes-Benz? So the answer is Mercedes-Benz. We know that. That's for sure. What is six albums? 
Okay, so the sixth album released in 1970, oh, Okay, so he's got the list. So does Highway to Hell, High Voltage, Let There Be Rock, TNT, no, nothing fits. Um, What's seven? Magic Mirror. Yeah, that's what I thought. So nine is The Prisoner. And 10 is Steely Dan. That eight, you know, with the, with the wine, nobody here knows anything about wine? What's the whole I thing? The, the whole word thing. might be champagne. Can you see the chat if I put it in the chat right now? Yeah. Cindy? I could only see the chat when the person doing the um, questions okay. writes on the chat. Then How if I do it now? The rooms, it disappears. Can you see it now? Ah, now I can see it. Yeah, yes. so we just have to put the words, we just have to put them back in for you is what the problem is. Do you know anything about ACDC? I have no idea about that. Okay, so I'll leave you number eight to ponder. The Dom, the Dom Perion Rosé. Yeah. Well, Dom Perion Brute. You can see how many blanks he has. <coughs> I think I they're the same line. word. Nine letters. I just see one line. So well, the first one, all you need to know about blank, blank. Mike says the second word is nine letters. Okay. Would you say the first one was Mike? Four? The first one is four, four letters, nine letters. Four and nine. All you need to know about Good, 12 best, blank, blank, you should, blank, blanks, you should. What, it's, uh, what are some other wine words? Just throw out There's random Shep words Shep about York. wine that might be on Shep a title. Jose, blank. Um, I think the second it. one is champagne because that, like oh, 12 Blue best Chico, blank champagne champagne, that are buying. Hyper Heisdick. Those are all champagne. Rose. The first one. Champagne would fit, right? See. What what what, what yeah, word? champagne would fit. Pink champagne. That's gotta be four letters. The 12 hmm? best pink champagnes. Does that make pink sense? Works. Yep, that's that's right. Pink works. Yeah, that's right. Pink works. Yeah, Rose is. Rosé. Okay, rose is in pink the champagne. Crew. Yeah. Very good, you guys. That got reasoned out. Pink. Okay. So, pink champagne. The prisoner. Champagne on ice. We are all just prisoners here of our own device. Oh. In it's the happy. captain's crater. As for the beast, he stabbed it through the steely knives, but it just can't. Could it be Hotel, Hotel California? California, that's what yeah. it is. Oh which my number? god, you got it. Which, which number? So the theme is Hotel California. No. So the picture was a lava lamp, a Tiffany lamp, a Pixar lamp, and Aladdin's. So which one's the one that goes with the theme? Welcome to the Hotel Someone, someone starts lovely singing pink. Can you see those? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. does she say, does she say Tiffany? Tiffany. Tiffany. So let's call it Highway to Hell for... And it's Tiffany. One. Why would I, it be Tiffany? Mention it, Tiffany, Tiffany, um... Start singing Hotel California to yourself. Come on, you've heard it a thousand times. I don't know the song. <laughs> so one... So number one is the, I think it's one, Tiffany. How does that relate to Hotel California? Because the, the word Tiffany's mentioned in the- um, Which song. number is that? One. Stab it with a steely knife. Oh, um, uh, number three. Can. With the lamp. Yeah, so Hotel California. On a dark desert highway, cool wind in my hair. 
cool rising up in the air so what's hotel california is that like a movie or something that was you ever heard the song hello to hotel california before by the eagles no hotel mm -hmm. california Played a thousand times it's, a week on you can't go grocery shopping without hearing it it's it's an old song that i don't listen to, the to hotel california it's just in the background the everywhere day. Well, everybody pay any attention to it. And if it's too loud, I put earplugs in. I'm probably the only no, my supervisor also went to <coughs> went to bars where there was music and wore earplugs. <laughs> if I go to concerts, I'll put in earplugs. Oh my goodness. Oh good lord. Okay, so but I'm not deaf. So is Highway to Heaven, Highway to Hell. Highway to Hell. Okay. And you know what? Isn't that what I said when we I were trying to guess that, what yeah. it was? I thought it might be Highway to Hell. That's really bad, but I remember my... I mean, the word black in might be in that, too. I think that's a... Do so we have them all? <coughs> Highway to Hell. What was five? Five is Captain Crunch. Apparently, that's the name of Captain Crunch officially. I don't know why Mike knows that, but someone, someone that was, I think, a, a question a few weeks ago. That was a trivia mm -hmm. question. Something having to do with Captain Crunch's real name. It may not have been here. I, I, I don't know. I just remember hearing it at some point. What was six? In the middle of the night. In the middle of the night. I was walking in my sleep. Hold on, I'm going to play Hotel California. Well, actually, that would be cheating. So that might be cheating. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I think so. And number seven. Well, let's is finish. Here. Let's finish it up. What do we it have is left? Pink champagne. We're done. What nine. Was What's what was nine? One? The prisoner. Wait, number one was Highway to Hell. Highway to Hell. Was number She's three. asking me. Janine's keeping track. No. Hey. Number three is oh. Tiffany Lamp. Oh my God! Tiffany, you know my cat. Did one of your chickens come in. No, what the happened? cat jumped up here and scared oh. me to death. <laughs> Number 10 is Steely Dan. Apparently, it's the name of a dildo. <laughs> you did it. Very good. <coughs> and, and that's just, I, I, I can't believe Janine ever heard the song. She's got to have heard it. How do you not? Oh, look at her kitty. Hi, Janine's kitty. Yeah, my kitty's on my bad list. Where's Where's Hamilton? You should be here watching it, looking at this kitty. I have two cats sleeping over here. Actually, oh, all three cats on my ask us on my bad list too. Because when I went out to do the chickens, he took off up the hill after a deer. I think. Oh dear. Okay, everybody's coming back. I can see already. Room four is back. All right, great job, team. Are you sure Tiffany is in that song? Yeah, it's not that a tiff Tiffany glass. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. I can't sing the lyric, but I, I'm almost positive it's in there. I think we're good. I'm gonna wait. You can blame little, me. Okay, if we're if locked in. I'm gonna go ahead and play the song for Jean. Janine. Janine. I thought it was written backwards, and I was trying to figure out what it was. Oh, it's Excellent. written. Well, for Hebrew, it is written back. Oh, it is written back. Oh, are you ready for the answers? Yeah. Please. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but Kevin, I have a request. Yep. When you say the theme, I would like to request that we all be unmuted. Okay. Why? Let's leave it unmuted the whole time. It was Thank you. Difficult to theme. Two, two teams got it that I know about. Maybe more really? than two. The first answer is Highway to Hell. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Almost. The second word answer job, is Aaron. Taco Bell. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. right. man. That the was the third. One. The photo is the Tiffany lamp. Okay. Oh. Because, it's, because it's Tiffany twisted. If you look at it close. Oh, okay. Tiffany. Oh my gosh, I know it. <laughs> 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 now she knows you it. You shouldn't have said Tiffany twisted. You should have said. It's Tiffany. a Tiffany lamp with a twisted base. We still don't know it. So that would have made Karen go a little longer. Number three. 
Uh, number five is Captain Crunch. The you missed four. Oh, Captain Crunch. Four was Mercedes Benz. You didn't? Four? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mercedes Benz. <sighs> number five is Captain Crunch. Thanks, sweetie. Number six huh? is In the Middle of the Night, which is a common in lyric in the song. Number seven is Magic Mirror. Yay. Mm -hmm. Good job, Karen. Number eight is Pink Champagne. Pink. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Do we get half points? Well done, nope. team. Number nine is The Prisoner. Number 10 is Steely here. Dan. Oh, Steely Dan. Now you want to uh, sing it? Uh, yeah. Sing what? On a dark desert highway. Oh, cool wind in my head. That's the Eagles. <laughs> well, I'm I heard the mission bell. California. Her mind is Tiffany Twisted. She's got a Mercedes Benz. Oh. I called up the captain. <laughs> He's blinging so my line. My line. And oh, then well. In the middle of the night is in there. It's in there. The mirror, devices. Mirror, mirror is on the ceiling. Pink prison champagne on ice. Mm. We're uh -huh. all just prison is here. Prison here of our, our own, own device. device. <laughs> Stabbed it with Stabbed their with steely knives. They cannot kill the beast. That was really yeah. great yeah. art. Mike, Mike put it together <laughs> finally. But boy, that was hard. Knew it was a song and couldn't figure it out with what we had right, a little way yeah. Wake you up. I like in the it middle better now than, than earlier. Just to hear them say. Here's a fun hint or tip for Kevin's topics. When he types in the little dash underline yeah, underscores for the missing know. words, la, he puts the correct la, number la, of letters. La 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 The sad thing is it didn't help us get it. La 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 la. You couldn't come up with champagne for that? Yeah, there's already someone knows their champagnes. We said fine champagne. Oh, that's four letters. That's true. Yeah, we need to do the I used the word rose. You got the I and the N right. Yeah. Okay, let's go with our scores. Monkey pox immune. It's five and a half because we had the champagne part. Um, Five. No, 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 I have six. No, we got six. We got six. Okay. We had a team name, but somebody erased the tape. Nine. Oh. May your enemies have Alex Jones as lawyer. Well, that's us. Ten. <laughs> that's Very us. Good. Kevin, uh, you managed the, not to screw your own team. The frogs are suing Alex Jones is next. Ten. Nine. 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 Sorry. We missed the Tiffany. Um, our lawyers sent all our answers to the other teams in the chat. And I wish that made up some. That made really up made up Bob was the one who got the theme on his team, and Mike got the, the theme on my team. Oh, was there only two teams that got the theme? Yeah, I think I, I was all ready to be mad at you, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> you should have got it. You of all people, you live in California. And she's missed the song. But she's not in a hotel. But she stayed in a hotel before. <laughs> and, and, and she likes music. So you should have got that one. And here's the thing. He does he does the themes the same way every time. Not every, not every time, but he's done no. it this way before where it's the words. Song, song kinda, lyrics. Yeah. Song if, they're in order, get, too. If, if you don't get enough oh. of them and you get some wrong, then you're not going to get the theme, which is yeah, what it's tough if you get so. Yeah. So, what, what I don't, I still don't get what's this Captain Crunch? I don't get that one. Uh, uh, oh, the word yeah. captain is in the song, as I called up the captain. No, 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 no. Why is that the answer to five, though? Captain, that's the answer to the question. That's his name. Why is that the answer to the question? That's his name. It's a trivia question whose name is Captain Horatio Magellan Crunch? It's Captain That's his full name. Okay. And I think that yeah. may have come up not as a question necessarily, but in discussion. Yeah. A few Answer weeks the ago. questions, fill in the blanks, uncover the theme. By so the way, if I leave it I, without I a question mark, you fill in the blank. I know the song and I never knew the word Tiffany was in it. It was one of those, what word is that that's they singing? What, what I don't even know what that means, yeah. Tiffany. Oh I didn't know either. She's Tiffany Twisted. Yeah, yeah I thought it was another her, word. Her mind is Tiffany Twisted. I She's thought it was definitely twisted. Definitely, definitely twisted. Definitely twisted. That's one of the lamp. The lyrics. I've never known what it really there, was there's saying. Right here, honey. Yeah. Right here on the chair. I was trying to animate that so it would twist, but it, that would be too easy. <laughs> and I have to make the lava lamp bubble, and I'd have uh, to make the smoke come out of. And I couldn't do so, it. It was taking so forever. It was the, so I no. It was the picture. twistedness was the main thing. Yeah. All it's you needed was Tiffany. Tiffany. You didn't know which one it was. 
Yeah, right, we, didn't, we didn't get enough to figure it out. So Carl's next. <sighs> and he's got something boring looking in the background. Movies. What a surprise. It's Do I have powers yet? Yeah, you've had them. Like Dorothy. Okay. You've had it all. You've had, had it all, all along. All right. Another oh. round of movies by bad description. Yes. Uh -huh. All these. All right. Solid muting. Who's muting? Do you want me to mute? I thought we weren't muting anymore. Uh, we are. Oh, for we just want we to hear muting. Karen groan. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Number one, 2008, female. Number two, 2015, driver Rex Ford. Number three, from 2010, skinny kid makes a black friend, father doesn't approve. Number four, from 1983, take your son to work day ends with the dad killing his boss. Number five, from 2001, two naked factory workers run from the authorities after kidnapping a child. Number six, from 2018, everyone tries to keep a single father from snapping. Number seven, from 2016, the hero only wins because he saved before the final boss. Number eight, from 2000, a group of school teachers take their new friend to beat up a Holocaust survivor and his buddies. Number nine, from 1977, Sunburn Man plays with his food at the table. And finally, number 10, from 1976, this was the story of Howard Beale, the first known instance of man who was killed because he had lousy ratings. All right. I'm going to open up the breakout rooms. Whoever is in Cindy's room, can you put the questions back in the chat when you get in there for her? Somebody hear me? Don't say anything. Don't say anything. We're not saying anything. Okay, We're putting the questions say, up. I was just going to say, don't. Uh, somebody put the questions in the chat for Cindy because she can see. Yeah, them. we did it. No, we okay. we've got it up on the screen. Okay, thank yeah. you. We have no answers yet. You okay. can just just right. leave. I'm going just back. Yeah, go. get the heck out of here. Just go. I just, just go. Cindy always <laughs> reminds Bye. people to do that for you. <laughs> oh, I got to go. How do I get out of my room? Yeah, you go. Okay. I'm going, Jump. I'm going. Hi, team. Hello. Is Caspian here? Yes. No. Caspian has come up with a number of, of, of the answers so far. I've got one. Which one? Close Encounters. Where? Oh! What Wait, number? I got one the cats didn't get. Yes! What number? Nine. I should have known that one. How <laughs> dare your mother get one that you didn't? I thought, it, of course you have that one. I do Ooh. have that one. It's over to my left. Okay. So we need number one, three, six, and seven. Eight. One, 
three. Email. And seven? Yes. I'm going to put Karen in her room. She's in. Um, Kingswood makes a black friend. Three. Father doesn't approve. Oops, no, she's not in three. Skinny kid makes a black. Okay, so which which question are we still working on? Well, did you did you say five? Did you say what five was? AI. Five is AI? Yes, the Steven Spielberg movie. I didn't see it. Um, the Stanley Kubrick movie that was done by Steven Spielberg. Okay, so what do we got so far? So one is we don't have? No. And two? Mad Max. Thunder Road. Okay, three? Don't have it. Um, four? Return of the Jedi. Really? Hey, skinny kid. Okay, number six. Skinny kid makes a black friend. Six was the one where the guy was running around like he just like lost it from the traffic and everything and the stress and he was rampaging, right? Uh doesn't sound familiar yeah, to me. Yeah, there was a guy who is was that just... with that is that with Douglas um um is that um he was just um, I didn't see it, but he was just like screaming and raging. And he that, uh, yeah. Michael Douglas. Is that with Michael Douglas? No. Yeah. You know who yeah. I'm talking about? Um, yeah. What was the name of it? Um, um, oh, what was the name of that? Carl, I got one. Which, which one are you trying to figure out right now? Five. No, six. Wasn't it ramp rage something? I got number nine. Oh, he disappeared. Just when I was getting ready to brag about something, I actually did. Caspian, what did you say eight was? X Men. Oh, that is. <laughs> that's awful. Yeah, yeah. A group of oh, that's yeah, awful. They thought it was cool. Yeah. How about ten? Network. Yeah, that one. Uh, um, is it the skinny kid makes a black friend? Did he? Could he have like created a friend rather than? befriended someone who was black or something that was black is that is that i'm trying to 2010 what i don't know when movies came out yeah i just is that like a shadow know. like a shadow um uh, are you thinking of a specific movie yeah i'm just wondering see he plays with the words so we say you make a black friend that means He's implying there's some, you know, well, somebody made already. A black friend. He made right. it. Yeah. Did he did he create was it the plot that he created a point. thing? That's a good point. And the uh, yeah. And I'm wondering if he just trying to crack the, you know. Did you get an answer for a six? Oh, no, that's what I'm working on. Number right. seven. Not seven. Hero only wins because he is saved. The final boss. Before the final boss. What does that mean? It's a video game reference. You, you, you have these boss fights, and then at the end of the game, 
there's the the ultra ultra boss so saved before the you save the game boss. think that way if you get killed in that final fight you can go back to your save point and start again could that be like um a time so, travel movie so that he he stopped he i don't know 2016 2016 what was in the oh it's Doctor Strange. Number seven? Yes. Is that involved time travel? Yes. See, it's always involved. Has that, has that been out? Has that been out six years, I guess? I think that's about it, yeah. Yeah, okay, Doctor Strange. The, the first Doctor, okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Uh, six. Everyone tries to keep a single father from snapping. Yeah. You said Michael Douglas wandering around. Was that Birdman? No. No. I was it was this called... one where the guy was screaming and he's running that... around in traffic and people are like trying to catch up. It was just some average guy who had a dad yeah, but that a was... child, and I think the child died or something, and he he just lost it. And but that was a that was an old. I don't see the date matching up because that was a while ago. Well, that I sounds like the end of Invasion of the Body Snatchers. No, no, it was it was no, a no, no, no. I saw the just... trailer. Yeah, he just. I think his child yeah, he, dies he and just he does. loses it. And he goes through like LA and there's all this traffic and he's like really violent. I don't know if he kills other people, but he's just. No, Bob, you're right is, uh, with the Michael Douglas thing. It is a long time ago. It doesn't have. Yeah, the, 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 yeah, the date doesn't line up. Skinny kid. Okay, female. A... That's the F-E. That's, like that's like a chemical term, right? Iron. Oh, Iron, Iron, Man. Man? Iron Man. Good. Good. Yeah, got, oh my God, I, I'm, I'm helping. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I witnessed it, so. And and I yeah. believe Carl, you when you, you claim left, it. You left before I was able to tell you. When I came into the room, I said, the only one I know is Close Encounters, number nine. And they didn't have that. Any kid makes. I have point. witnesses. I have a recording. Yep. That, that's one of the ones I made up from scratch and didn't find on the internet. Oh, I didn't cool. know that they had these. I noticed number 10 you didn't make up at all. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, just seeing if people... Okay, so we need number 6 and number 3. And, and Bob's got an interesting idea about number 3. that It's not a black friend. Yeah, I'm just saying, what if... He's thinking, he made a black friend. He made it. So like a shadow or a cutout. What would make sense? Yeah. Well, I mean, what is a black friend that you can make? A gun, a computer, a a black hole? Um <clears throat> A cat? No, you yeah. wouldn't make a black cat. I mean, you could. You could wish one into existence or something. Um, Skinny kid. Father doesn't approve. 12 years ago. Skinny kid. 2010. A robot. There was a film that came out recently-ish about a man who fell in love with an artificial intelligence that he wrote. Wasn't there one called She? Yeah, I she think that's a, it. Yeah, it was a... I don't know. I don't know what Scarlett that's, Johansson was the... I don't think it has anything to do with a black... The AI. AI. Okay. An alien? Make a black alien. Black. Shadow. Mm. 
it's not um it's like a spider-man the venom the um when was the father doesn't approve the, the, the it wasn't the most recent spider-man but the the toby mcguire ones or or gar well it can't be that one because he doesn't have a father yeah i mean it could be a father figure no then it'd be his uncle right i haven't seen any of those yeah and no there was a there are too damn many to keep track of uh, are these all everybody. movie? Are these the are these movies in the theaters, or can they be on like uh, made for net, like for TV, Netflix, or something like that for streaming? Yeah. I think it's a bit too early for any of the streaming services. Yeah, these yeah. all have to be movies. All of them so far have been. Please. Everyone tries. What did we do? We get the six. Everyone tries to keep a single father from snapping. Snapping. I mean, it's possible we've never heard of these movies before, but they're all. No, 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 he does. Everyone tries to keep single. Uh, snapping, could that refer to snapping of fingers? Could it be a musical? I think like a... Oh, that's the Avengers movie. Six, the Avengers? Yes, I can't remember which specific one. Well, who's tell me the tell me how it lines up and I'll the which one's the Avengers is, movie? Yeah, the which villain one? is a single father. He has children that he adopts. So no who who, who are you talking about? I, who, I don't I'm who's this who's um, the character that's the single father? What's his name? Um the main guy. Thanos. Thanos. Oh, 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 oh uh, Thanos, yeah. Thanos. Yes. Okay, so, so, um, they're trying so Endgame, no, the, it would be the Infinity War, Infinity War. Yeah, that sounds about right. And the, and the Endgame is the, so Infinity War was 2018, Endgame is the next year Probably or two years year. later. Okay, so. Really reaching. Okay, yeah. so we need number three. Yeah, so Infinity War. We're going to put that, that work. Infinity yes. War for that? Okay. Yes. So okay. that yeah. leaves three. Three. Skinny kid. Makes a black friend. Father doesn't approve. Very few of these are in any way obscure once you figure out what it is. So right. yeah, yeah, it's no, be something he, yeah. we've heard of. Think yeah, of a character yeah. that has a young character who could be a kid. It doesn't say man. It's kid. Could be a skinny girl. Yeah. Uh, is it uh, uh, one of the uh, Star Wars spinoffs? 2010? Um, yeah. What was the one? It may have been too uh, too long ago, though. There, the uh, is, that, is it? A, a, she was a woman. She was a woman uh, uh, hero. Did I? Yeah, the recent run of Star Wars films. I think this is too early for those. Yeah, and she didn't have a father. Is it, is it a Thor? Is it one of the Thor series? The timeline um, fits, but I don't know if Loki, that. Loki, um, is it the, what was the one with the dark elves, the, the, uh, what was that? Odin, because the father would be Odin. So, 
How many Loki, you guys got left? Loki, one. Wrong question. Loki um, befriends the Dark Elves. What was the name of that? Dark World. Sorry, Dark World. Is everybody done? I think that's the correct answer. Most teams are struggling on, on one or two. I don't know if it's the correct answer. Yeah, that's about where we are. Just the one question. We got everything else. So if we can't think of something else, you want to do that? Right. Is that is that is the date right? It seems. Is the what? Is the date line up? The date lines up ish. Um, ish, yeah. Yeah, because if Iron Man was two thousand eight, seems a little early. It's a reasonable guess. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, but it was called Dark World, right? So we're Dark World. I think so. Two minutes to the one minute? Mm hmm Eight is oh X Men yeah seventy yeah I don't know I'm, I'm not quite yeah I'm not quite. Yeah, if there's anything that better, 2010. So. Falling Down was that movie you were trying to think of. That's right. Yeah, but that Falling was way down. back. Very good. None of the, yeah. none that was of the a longer ago. But it, you, I'm right, though. There was guy screaming, running through the street. All, 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 this, all this shit is up here somewhere, but it's retrieving it. Is. That was it, falling down, I remember now. Mm. Okay. 2010. I'm trying to remember where I was in 2010 and what I might have seen or seen trailers of. Marvel. What was the 2010 Marvel movie? Because it's Iron Man and then Thor. Captain America. He was a skinny kid. Captain America. His father wasn't was somebody else. I'm surprised nobody's back. They must be really struggling. Okay, you're gonna bring yeah. them back. I think everybody's probably not gonna get them if they're not gonna get them. Right. Like by this point. Kick myself. All right. Three is really But I think you might be right, Bob, about it not being a typical, like I'm making a friend and a skinny kid kid could be male or female. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Captain America was skinny, but he didn't have a father. You know, it's funny about number nine is when it says with the spoon at the table, if I didn't go back and look at that question, I would have sworn it had mashed potatoes on in the question because it, I, I, as he was reading it off, I was thinking, oh, the guy eating mashed potatoes and coleslaw. Yeah, man, yeah, Richard. Dreyfuss, and it just like, yeah. I, I just, I swear the word mashed potatoes was in words mashed potatoes was in that question somewhere. Yeah, because you pictured it. 
Yeah, right. Boom. And then I said, oh, yeah, you had a sunburn. We need. Yeah. Bye, everybody. Great job. But I don't worry. How'd everyone do? It was fun. We, we I'll have, get a 10. We got get one we didn't get. But boy, I don't know if they had a perfect score. There was, there's they at really least struggled. one team that was close to a perfect score. I don't know if they finally got there or not. Is everybody back? Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. I think probably everybody got the first one. Iron Man. Da, 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 da. Number two. Star Wars Episode Seven: The Force Awakens. I will that accept. So I'll fun. accept Star Wars: The Force Awakens or Star Wars Episode Seven: The Force no Awakens. No way! Not, you can't just say Star Wars Seven though. No, Caspian came up with something else. What? What? Mad Max. <laughs> Mad Max was much much earlier than the more recent one. Than two thousand fifteen. He's thinking of the recent Mad Max. Mad Max Four. Yeah. Did he wreck a car? Twenty fifteen. I don't know if it was 2015. Cars. I'll look it up, but I know there was a Ford that's wrecked. Yeah, Might get this, a was, point. this was the actor's name. This so is that Adam Driver funny. killing at Harrison Ford. Oh, it was 2015. <laughs> so yeah, Max, I'm solo. I know. Are you going to argue for the point, Caspian? No, not really. Yeah, yeah we, have, we have to thank Adrian's son for that revelation. Number three, How to Train Your Dragon. Oh. 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 No wonder I never saw it. I never, never would have got that. That, that one it. took a bit, but when I when we yeah. finally figured that out, I was like, brilliant, Carl, brilliant. Never saw that. Uh number four, Star Wars episode six, <laughs> the Jedi. Yes. Oh, also Adrian. Caspian got that. <laughs> number <laughs> five. <laughs> Monsters Inc. No yeah. way. <laughs> Too much nudity. Oh, in that, that film. is awful. Trying. Too much nudity in that film. <laughs> that is I, saw, way I saw people too, struggling oh, on this awful. one, but I think uh, Ben finally got this one. I think it was a team effort. We 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 reasoned it together. The snap. Number seven. I know one team was contemplating Game the correct on. answer. I don't know what... if they chose. You didn't say what Dr. six was, Strange. Carl. Carl. Uh, six. Oh, yeah, we got that six one, was Carl. Avengers: Infinity War. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Seven Number is Dr. Five. Strange. That's wrong, you oh, guys. Oh, dumb. I should have thought of that. Uh, I, don't I knew it would bug me once. I, I just kept replaying the game until he won. Don't yeah, don't from the save of the time stone. Uh, Damn it. Save. Number eight, uh, X-Men. Yeah. Seven, I missed seven. That was clever. Seven was Dr. Strange. Oh, okay, we got it. <laughs> Number nine, Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Oh. <gasps> No, that's Yay! that was the easiest one for me. Potatoes. Yeah, oh. I didn't remember the sunburn part. I didn't remember that I did. either. I that sunburn when he looked outside. Yeah, he looked out. Yeah. Right overhead. Radiation. Burns. I just remember him playing with the food, uh, not being sunburned. And, and number ten, directly from the very last line of the movie, Network. Yes, <laughs> which which was uh, uh had a quote and as mad as hell, and I'm not going to take it anymore from my movie quote round. Yes. Woo! -hoo. Good round, Carl. Wait, he, he was that was very good. We, we you have were. to see the movie. It is arguably the greatest acted movie of all time. Acted? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. I believe yeah. it had like four acting nominations at the Academy Awards that oh, year. I it's a know really that. good movie. I've never and, watched it. And it's remarkably prescient of what happened. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's very, very premonition. Mm -hmm. at, the, at the time it came out, everybody said, Oh, this movie is so ridiculously over the top. Ne broadcast news will never be anywhere near this bad. And now <laughs> it seems almost clean. Now it's worse. Surprise. And again, if anyone cares, I have uploaded a Word document with this round. <coughs> into the oh, can't believe I didn't get Doctor Strange. I'm so mad. Good job, oh, Carl. Yeah. So I I, I'm, miss, I'm upset about Monsters, Inc. That, that, think, I've seen that movie so many we times. Could a, we could have had a perfect 10. Two naked factory workers. That was a good one. Wasn't that was clever. That one Caspian out. said it was oh, AI. Yeah, yeah. Good job, team. Could it have been AI? <sighs> this was a good. We we had a good team effort helping figure all these out. 
it was it was a fun category. I, I'm glad we got that one. <laughs> yeah, those are fun. You know, in Infinity War though, they never specifically say that Thanos doesn't have a wife somewhere. <laughs> uh, probably killed her. Yeah. Once he snapped, she was gone. So then he was a single man. Okay, so let's go with down. monkey pox. So and only fifty percent chance of it. Very good so far. We had a team name, but somebody erased the tape. Nine. Uh, Stop the gown. Stop the gown. Number three. May your enemies have Alex Jones's lawyer. Eight. Oh, oh, the frogs are suing Alex Jones next. Five. Oh, oh man, Carl, you did the thing where you oh no, it's not Carl's team. Our lawyer <coughs> sent all our teams in the chat. I thought we got six. Oh, did we? What was the six? Okay. Six. six? Okay. Yeah. Six. Okay, so what was our lawyer sent all the answers to the other teams in the chat? The team I was on. Seven. I got seven. Ooh, it's tight. <laughs> we got wow. tight one. Right there at the top. Carl yeah. killed the team. Okay, Terry's okay, going to take it out. I thought our team had seven. Um, I thought we missed three, five, and seven. What else did we miss? <laughs> this is for the... Uh, you didn't say Star Wars Episode Six. You have to say that whole thing. Episode and Seven. We, we had a uh, uh, number seven and six. We missed. I see. Uh, well, we missed six. Yeah, six. We okay. uh, daddy, daddy daycare. Okay. Twizzler, anybody? Okay. I can play with my food. All right, Terry. Bonus. You ready? Okay, I hope I did this right. It's my first bonus round ever, so we, the bonus we have round. Be nice to you. It, yeah, well, I don't. It's uh, it, it's relatively nice. All right, bonus round is name ten flavors of Japanese Kit Kats translated oh. to English. <laughs> I say I looked everywhere I could on the web. Uh, I, <laughs> <coughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. No, what? In in Japan, I know I've had some of them. Okay, there you go. Whether I can Japan, remember them or not have, is another matter. Apparent, apparently, they have three hundred different flavors of Kit Kats. I found a hundred and thirty-eight or one hundred thirty-six all over the web, Wikipedia, Japanese food stores. Anyway, so that's it, and I I won't do mono rules because I think it's hard. Yeah. <laughs> oh dear God! I have no know? idea. I hope my team's good. <laughs> Wait, didn't we have this last week? What did we have last do you, week? Do you have Oreos. do you have the full list of flavors? Oreos. We had Oreos last oh, week. Oreos, that's right. I looked at Oreos in my store. And they, I have every I one did. that I could find. Listed. Susan, yeah. the same thing. I went the next time I went to the store, I, I went down that aisle on purpose and checked out all the I Oreos. Know. This I idea that didn't Ben say that there was like a whole wall, a whole aisle full of Oreos? Ours I just found just out from one of these these mm -hmm. online trivia things that I play that the best-selling cookie in the world is Oreos. No, it doesn't surprise me at all. <laughs> which kind? Yeah. Yeah, which kind? I didn't say a kind. I think okay. they lump them all together. Okay. Yeah. okay. I, found 100, I found 162 flavors. So, so I'm I'm concerned when we start reading them at that you've got to look through 162. Do you have them in alphabetical order? I do. Okay, good. Okay. Good. Yeah, that's 162 is kind of it's a little it's not going to kill us, but like like uh, like he said, well, it's going to take a while to grade these. So, well, I can just um, in the future in the future people should have maybe a shorter link. list of possibilities. I this can is, put uh, some this things. is workable, but it's just going to oh, take. Oh, you a want while. me to put a list of possibilities? No, it's fine. No, no, that's fine. No, it's fine. It. I think it's, it's fine. fine. And they're saying people as, as a hint or tip for the future. Can, like we, got, can we go to our rooms? Can we go to our yeah. rooms? Because it's alphabetized, Terry, I think yeah. it's going to be fine. It'll be okay. It'll be fine. <laughs> and and I can give you the link to the whole spreadsheet when we're that's done. Somebody could. Yeah, that would be cheating. Yeah. 
No, afterwards. Oh, they damn. themselves, in other words. <laughs> Hi, team. Uh, Love. Been... I'm here to not help you at all. <laughs> Uh, I mean, I think I would say green tea because the Japanese love green tea. I was going to say matcha. I think I've seen that. Oh. And I was going to guess orange and strawberry. Wait, yeah, so orange. these are, I thought it was going to be a goofy translation. Yeah, I'm aware that there's a whole bunch, but, you know, I don't see them in my day-to-day -day life. And uh, There's dark chocolate. I'm sure there is. That's got to be one mm. of the flavors. How about Twizzler flavored? Probably or, not. Twizzler. or I've got milk duds. <laughs> Caramel could be one. Yeah. Cinnamon. White chocolate. I would vote white chocolate. How about cookies and cream? Oh, yeah. Wasabi. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that should. I mean, um, coffee. Coffee. Cinnamon. Yeah, coffee be... We have cinnamon. Kit Kats. Yeah. I'm gonna. I want to vote for wasabi Kit Kat because that should exist as a thing. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Well, there you go. You, you know, that. you got to have their spicy ones, not just the sweet ones. Yeah. We should put ours in alphabetical order. It'll be easier to grade. Okay. I had a I help. <laughs> <laughs> My light is way too bright. Is uh, peanut butter a favorite in Japan? I don't know. I have no idea. Uh They probably have some with almonds if they're doing peanuts. Don't give more. We've already got 10. <clears throat> I think we usually like brainstorm and then uh, uh, remove the ones that we don't like later. Well, mm -hmm. she's got 160 of them. I bet all of those are on there. Rice. <laughs> fish flavor. Sorry, Sasha. So fish flavored Kit Kat. Ugh. Yeah, fish, fish flavor. <laughs> I don't know. Romero, when is when is uh, um Faith get back? Isn't it a little late for her to be getting back from Dolly? Oh no, she's there all week. Wait. She's at an amusement park all week. How do you? Well, she went. She went to uh, the amusement park for I think two days, and then she went. She also went to a water park that's nearby, and I think some museum. Oh, how far away is she? Uh, she's in Tennessee. Oh, so that's six hours close. away. So she drove. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I don't know why I was thinking she just went to the, and she'll be back. Okay, never mind. I'm sorry, she's not doing this in the hotel room. Yeah. She did it when she had a surgery, but not I know. Now. That's why I was thinking she would be she's probably exhausted. How many are you guys gonna get? I don't know. I told them to stop at 10, but they're having fun. Okay, well, great. I had no idea. This is we said fish flavor. No, I would not have voted for fish flavor. Yeah. You'd have to be specific about the flavor. That would be tuna. one of the ones I, I bet you there's off. tuna. There's salmon, tuna. Oh, that sounds so disgusting. There might the be a uh, you know, swordfish. Swordfish. Flounder. Whale. Pumpkin, Whale pumpkin flavor. Spice. Pumpkin spice. <laughs> Chicken. I'm laughing. I'm laughing, but it's probably true. Chicken flavor. <laughs> oh. Beef. <laughs> Again, I'm laughing, and it's probably there. How about broth? <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs>
Noodle tiramisu. Should I add these or are we just uh, joking? No, I don't know. I, I think, I think you're, you're probably. I think we're good. We can overthink this. Oh, just alphabetize them so it'll be easier. All right. Uh, <clears throat> We will have to remove uh, some of them. Right. If there's a rice one, it's going to be like puffed rice, not just rice, wouldn't it? Yeah. Crispy rice. Um, yeah. Puff slash crispy. Yeah. <clears throat> Look how quickly he does that. He knows what he's doing. I know. It's good. He's used a computer before. It's a data so ones... management program. Oh, okay. So he's got special tools, I guess. Yes. Yeah, so text. I put it in. I put it in a Google spreadsheet and then just hit sort or whatever it is. Yeah, that's true. Which one do you think we should remove? Or which ones should we remove? Cookies and cream, maybe. I would, exactly I would get rid of peanut butter before that. <clears throat> Half crispy, right? Well, I'm just thinking because it's not exactly a flavor, puffed crispy rice. It's more of a <clears throat> texture. So we remove that one? I don't know. I'm just a guest here. I'm not really here. I have no <laughs> investment in this. Maybe peanut butter. Remove peanut butter? Oh, we already removed it. You already well, got rid of that. Down at the bottom, yeah. That might not be a favorite in Japan. I mean, maybe puff. Crispy rice, I'm thinking. I mean, there might be a rice flavor. We might just not have the right <clears throat> rice. I don't know. Terry, there you're wanted in room four. I'm I I'm headed there. Okay. I just yeah. <laughs> don't help them. <laughs> it's Carl's team. Doesn't matter who's on his team. It's always Carl's team. <laughs> we gotta start. To we gotta start writing categories that are definitely anti-Carl. Is he going to SciCon? Oh yeah. Are you gonna do uh, um, trivia from SciCon? Because you're gonna be there that first Thursday. I don't know. I think you should. At SciCon. In a hotel room or just sitting like in a lobby somewhere? It's should probably we get in a room. Should we yeah, get rid of puffed rice? I think they're... Which one? Puffed rice. Everybody's done, right, Terry? Pretty much, yeah. Should I call them back? <clears throat> set the, uh, the one minute. Leave the room and then set the one minute. Almonds. Remove almonds. Yeah. How does that look, everybody? I'm fine with it. I still think you should put fish in there. Sushi. Which one would you? Sushi. Which one would you <laughs> kick out? <laughs> Raw fish. 
<laughs> that's so disgusting. I've been eating Twizzlers and Dum Dums. I mean, look good. So I, I don't really have much of a taste buds. How about caviar? Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Coconut? No, don't. I better not. No more suggestions. We're just, no more. No. We're going to confuse ourselves. All right. I think we've got some good ones. Who's re who's responsible for this? I can. I guess I can read them off. Okay, Romero, you're in charge. Good job, team. Very good job. <laughs> Very proud of you. It's hey. all guessing. There's no intelligence at all. I don't all. have a clue. I thought it was going to be something like the names are translated to mean something ridiculous, and I didn't know what that would mean. Oreos, Cheerios, Kit Kats. I don't think I could ever look at these things again. We have Captain Crunch today. I think I'm going to head out. We're losing Caspian? Yes. I haven't gone for a walk today yet, so. You're going to go for a walk right now at 10 o'clock? He's, yeah. what, is, are you 10 o'clock? Oh, yeah, it's 10 o'clock there. Oh, it's late here. It's not that unusual. Okay. Sterling does the same thing when he's home. All right. Bye. Great. Bye. Bye, Caspian. Hey, where's Jeff? We haven't seen him in a while. Ke Kevin, what do you use to clean the eggs off your house? What What do you find works best? <laughs> no, they, they actually like it because it's, it mixes you know, it up. I guess it's, just, it's not. It's not like you're giving out carrots or apples. Or no, no, no. It's because my son has food allergies: peanuts yeah. and eggs and milk and stuff. So he's never had a Snicker bar or anything with peanut in it. That sucks. And we give him uh, potato chips and like Twizzlers and Skittles and sugary yeah. candies. <coughs> potato chips are not particularly healthy. Make like, why don't you give them eggs so they That's can directly right. throw them right back in yeah. the house? It's <laughs> Aaron, do you want to have each team go through and just read the 10 they have and you just see if they're on the list? Or That's do you fine. Make... I just posted the answers in a spreadsheet. Ooh. We can just. I think it. we can all just self grade, right? Okay, can yeah, self grade. Cool. Right. We talked about a lot of these. <laughs> I know you guys all did great. I would. Okay. Lost. Or if you you can just do a find uh, if you copy it. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know if I need to read them for the vast number of watchers of you on YouTube. No, that's fine. Okay. okay can... Someone from our team is going to have to. All four of our viewers can. Ooh. Ooh. And I'm Molly did make it in there. All right. I was going first. Go first. I'm not first, but. It's funny, isn't it? Who goes so first, get... Susan? Someone from I'll our team is going to have to. I'll give you a second to get. So, so we put down we put down coffee, and there's one called Nescafe for coffee break. Is it means I mean, mm -hmm. is that good enough? Like no. <laughs> No, we had to figure out it was Nescafe. Well, there's a cafe au lait. Is that the you Mexican? Know, is that the Mexican I'm, drink? I'm like really easy, but I, uh, you know, it's like whatever that. you that guys sounds like want a personal to problem. Do. The personal it's whatever you guys <laughs> need problem. to know there, Terry. Yeah, there's cafe au lait and cappuccino, so there's lots of different coffee flavors for sure. That's right. Is there just a straight coffee? No. But and I'm sure wrong. coffee would be fine. Karen, wrong. Karen in, in the spreadsheet, it's listed yeah. as matcha in parentheses green tea. <laughs> yeah. We were debating in our in our yeah, we uh, did the same. whether that was exactly the same thing. And apparently it is. Did we leave okay. melon by itself? Because that's in there. So so what on earth yeah. is salt? No oh, peanut butter. Salt? Damn. No peanut butter. Yeah. Oh, oh, I know. Do they and have I earwax? Oh, see we <laughs> can I read off my list? Yeah. Saki. Saki. Yeah. yeah. Mung bean. What's that? Wait. That's Ch the Chinese. I don't uh -oh. know. No mung it's bean. Wrong. Mint. 
Yes. Cheesecake. There's uh, lots of cheesecakes. Yeah, lots of different flavors. Well, then stra we said strawberry cheesecake, and we were like back and forth. Strawberry cheesecake or two, so strawberry cheesecake. Cheese, uh, cheese, yeah. Uh, cheesecake uh, candy. Did you have candy? No, we had strawberry cheesecake. Yeah, that's, okay. strawberry that's in there. Yes. That's okay. Yes, yes. Oh, okay. Green tea. Yes. Pistachio. No. Ooh. Seaweed. No. 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 Dark chocolate. Yeah. That's yes. Fun. Yeah. White chocolate. Oh, I was going to say that. Uh, well, white chocolate with sea salt, so no. Oh, did you not have chocolate? chocolate? Dark chocolate, yeah. Milk chocolate. Oh no. <laughs> wow. I know. Chocolate and grilled potato is in there. <laughs> White chocolate. Weird stuff, guys. What is grilled potato? Well, we got five. Great. White chocolate is there, like, isn't it? Num uh, row 146. And we got oh, six. I'm sorry. Just, yeah, oh, yeah. We got Kevin. six. Sorry, Kevin. Yeah. It's okay. We got six then. Okay, great. Okay, so you ready for me to go to scores? Or are you still working on it, you guys? I think we're ready. Are you ready? Okay, let's go to scores. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Wait a second. Hold on. Before we disallow white chocolate, I'd like to share. No, I thought we said that was no, okay. It's okay. Oh, okay. White white chocolate. Chocolate. White chocolate's not. White chocolate is under sweetness for adults. 146. I put milk chocolate. Yeah, milk chocolate on that. Oh, I, I didn't see that. Okay. No, it's just plain chocolate. It's just dark white. Chocolate. And chocolate. Rob. And chocolate. Oh, cinnamon. That would be good. Cinnamon mm -hmm. cookie. Oh my gosh. Melon and cheese together? Yeah. Uh, but they didn't have the durian flavor. Well, there. <laughs> and they have uh, cough drop. Who wants cough drop? Cough drop. Cough drop's a flavor. It's not a. I mean, <laughs> cough drops are, are flavor. It's not, there's no flavor cough drop. I know, it's great. It's like cherry or pineapple or whatever. Cough yeah, drop. you have to have a flavor of cough drop. Yeah. Well, it's yeah. Not just be cough drop flavor. Cough drop flavor. Okay, here we go. I'm surprised I don't have cumin. <laughs> Monkey well, pox immune. I believe we have six. Correct, yeah. Okay, that brings you to 32. Sorry, team. <laughs> I kept throwing more people in your team, but you know, <laughs> that first round you guys had just it was fun. Thank you. All right. So now here's the next four. If you go <coughs> any way on this, really seriously, you're that tight. We had a team name that someone erased the tape. Uh I think we have nine. Wow. Wow. That's the winner right there. Nice. Okay. The frogs are suing Alex Jones next. Ben. Oh. Hey, Jen. Hey, Jen. Oh. No, I mean, I, I guess uh, I don't know. Uh, depends on how you grade it. Maybe. Well, ask the question. Ask Terry. What's the question? Uh, like cookies and cream? Uh, I see. That doesn't sound right. I see to me. frozen cookies and cream. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, that's more of a description. Yeah, that's a description. Cookies and cream is good. And then we have Doesn't cinnamon, taste different but frozen. I see cinnamon yeah, well, cookie. Cinnamon cookie, yeah, and you have what? Cinnamon. <laughs> I don't think that's the same. Okay. That wins. I'm going to take an extra point for the Nescafe coffee for our coffee. Yeah, I don't think... Cinnamon is cinnamon cookie, sorry. So I guess I would say six. Okay, may your enemies have Alex Jones' lawyer. You get six. Ooh, okay, here we go. Comes Our lawyer sent all our answers to the other teams in the chat. Uh, I count eight. Ooh. Ooh. 
Wow. Carl, I think we did well just because yes. Scott gets those odd flavor. Uh, yep. That's what uh, I told my team. I said, Ben's going to do well in this round. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's had why we were like, like we had we had edamame and wasabi and ginger yeah. and sake and we had all those oddball flavors in there. We should have thought of ginger. Yes. Of yeah. Course. yeah. You guys did very great. close. You guys look at that. Well, and the maximum that was really score cool. you can get is fifty. Mm. So we've got an awful lot in the forties. So that's pretty darn good. We had some, yeah. we had some really tight. Well, look, six point eight, ten, eight point eight, seven point four seven. Keeping in mind, I don't want to have too many high high numbers i like it when it's competitive like this because it's just more fun <laughs> but yeah good team good job everybody so la next week that was cool, cool. we have um let me show you show you who i have next gail peggy terry vincent and i do not have a bonus for next week i see um, mike's um, hand up to mike just hand put your hand up maybe for maybe robin will show up Nobody yeah, in this right. wants to do a bonus. I can come up with a bonus. Right. Robin has a bonus. But especially bonus since I was all complaining about this week's bonus. I think I <laughs> owe it to the... Mike yeah. Wolf has got bonus <laughs> next week. Thank you, um, Terry. It was. Can, was I, there, can I, was can there can I share way? my... <laughs> no, Thank Terry, it was fine. Yeah. Yeah. So, can I share my screen really quick if I can get Hi, this James. right? I just yeah. found this on the... I just found this. You wow. might like it. Ah, the, oh, damn it. Um, oh, here it is. Uri Geller issues a warning to Vladimir Putin. Yes. <laughs> he's going to, uh, I think he's going to affect the, uh, read the things here. Oh my God. <coughs> so, so if there's no nuclear attack it will backfire. on the UK, then he can claim success. Brilliant. Of course. Is yes. he going to bend him to his will? <laughs> and if it does happen, no one will know the difference. Mm -hmm. He wasn't able to remove rats from a remote island that he bought. What? Yeah, you got to listen to the newsletter that I read for the Skeptic Zone. It's all over there. Is this the last episode? I think. Ah, uh, no, it's a couple couple I episodes ago. One. Yeah, oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> you know, good night, everybody. Good night, Gail. Right, good you know, night, there is something to people who are. Hercule Poirot says that that the power of superstition is one of the most powerful forces in the world, and you think about it: if Vladimir Putin and his people were very prone to believing Uri Geller and Uri Geller made that claim and might frighten them to not do something. You know what I mean? No? Why don't you have Mark put a hex on him? <laughs> Mark doesn't do hexes. Susan, I'm, I'm willing to bet that the week after next, both Rob and I want to do a round. Why? What's that? <laughs> right, guys. Just, just, we, we pretty much do one as often as we can. Right, every, oh, every other week. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So you can put right, us down everyone. for that week. Well, which night, Terry? Thank you. Week after next. Well done, Terry. Oh, so I hope you noticed the fact that I made it to the end for the first time wow. ever. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, to do with the fact that I'm not star. working tomorrow. We needed you. We needed you for yeah, that. Score. We did good. You have you helped us a lot in that bonus round. Oh, and I looked it up, uh, Karen. There is no shrimp or peanut butter. So good, we got rid of those answers. <laughs> oh, no fish flavor. We, we had peanut throwing butter. stuff out at the beginning, just throwing out all kinds of wacky or ramen. Food. Ramen flavor. Yeah, ramen. <laughs> would have been good. Wait, is ramen yeah, next out. week, guys? I thought that was a style yeah. of noodles. Where are you? I can't see you. Yeah. I'm right here. Oh, there you are. Did I show you this? Isn't that good? <laughs> what is that? What is it? <laughs> it's, 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 a, it's a money sinking device. <laughs> you put it is the not. five hundred dollars in there, F3 and then you just field. carry it around with you, and you hold it around and tell people that it's something amazing. Oh, that's really reporter. good. I mean, I have, I have, I have a no phone. Clipping. I have one of. The, I have the top iPhone, right here. The top. And it's twice that, and good this night, a thousand things different more than that. But it can't do what this can do. It, it does better. <laughs> can, your, can your box call somebody on the call somebody and talk to them? No. Have you heard what Adrian can do now? Oh, no, Listen she, to this. When did she? How are you guys doing? <laughs> <laughs> a helium. She's got a helium box. For this. This is what COVID did to my voice. <laughs> <laughs> That's a scary one. <laughs> <laughs>
How did you do that? I'm not sure. Oh, that's creepy. That's creepy. Hey, everybody. Oh, nice. Robot. <laughs> I like that's the chipmunk. I, I put it on the end of the last episode as an Easter egg. I like it. I like <coughs> the voices, don't you? Do you do an Australian accent? No. <laughs> I got to learn that one. How about a chicken accent? Chicken. <laughs> do you do chicken? <laughs> Can you put it on the chipmunk and do a chicken? <laughs> Donald Duck. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually adorable. <laughs> it's a device you have. It's like a yeah. box. Yeah, like it's, a little, it's a little box that I got for. It's uh, called a Roadcaster. Road, yeah, Roadcaster uh, Pro, and it helps make recording easier for people like me who sort of don't know what we're doing. But it, it, I, I can do other things too. That's really cool. It's auto tune, isn't it? Like an auto tune. I want to hear that. Oh, it's yeah. Here. Oh. Uh, it can do crickets and all kinds of sound effects. You can download as many side effects, sound effects, and voice okay. changes as you want. And <laughs> well, Adrian's turning into a real live uh, audio thingy person. Yeah, it's getting have, crazy. Uh, it's all Richard's fault. Oh, he's awful. I've spent <laughs> so much money on things that he's recommended, and then I say that's really cool, and then I don't use it again. Because what? It, it's like what? Time. Like what? I have uh, um, things. <laughs> no, I have some. I have two. She has a gargoyle two, behind her. I have two or three microphone thingies. Yeah, but I and gave a you a gargoyle. One. But I don't, you know. And I gave you a light. Well, that I use. And mm -hmm. then the, um, I use the thingy, the thingy, the. <laughs> Selfie stick thing. But I better than all those things you paid for are the little paper animals. The little, little that were free. Yeah. Origami. I have the origami stuff. I've got a whole bunch of them. Those are better than all the money you spent. Oh yeah. Well, put it this way: what I got here uh, saved me, like it's cut down my editing time by fifty percent. Why? So that that's because it has uh, really good noise gates on it. Noises. And so for breathing, and Richard will know what I'm talking about. And it has de-essers and things like that that really help so that you don't have to change things after the fact. It happens as you're recording versus, so you don't have to. It's an auto-tune. You could sing with it, right? You probably could. It probably does have an auto-tune function. That's what auto-tune does. Don't make yeah. me sing. <laughs> I mean, I don't have that loaded in, but. <laughs> All right, you guys. I'm off to bed. Bye. Right. To see you guys. Bye. Thank you nice for joining to see us. Everybody. It's I'll been a see while. you next week. Good it's good everybody. to have you guys here. See good you. night.